Hey, what up, everybody? Welcome back to Southern California Regionals 2018. I'm Sajam, and this is... Fringe. And we are here with Dragon Ball Fighters Top 8. Good evening, ladies and dragons. It's good to be here doing commentary in Southern California. Oh, yes. Beautiful Southern California. You thought I was going to say Ontario, but I would never use beautiful in Ontario in the same sense. Well, you know, we're here. We're going to see some beautiful Dragon Ball fighters. That's for sure. You know, it's to make up for the lack of the aesthetics around the area. We mm -hmm. got Sonic Fox and Super Noon in the building to start it off. You already know this is a tale as old as time itself when it comes to Dragon Ball fighters. Two of the most prominent players in the scene in the U.S. for sure. Yeah, and then on the other side of the bracket, it's a Japan-Japan match with Kazunoko and Dogura playing against each other in winter side. This is, uh, this is a pretty tough bracket. Just looking oh, yeah. at it, this is a pretty difficult bracket. Despite it not being a Saga event, it's a radar event, yes. which means if you win, you get flown out to the next Saga event. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a really, really hard match. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you look yeah. at the path, you're just like, you had to play this guy and that guy and this guy just to make it into the top eight. It's yeah. pretty wild to look at. I mean, Sonic Fox had to take out his own teammate to get here into Kill Sage, who made it into loser side, thankfully. I'm really excited to see him play in this top eight. And uh, I think his team in particular in this version is super, super sick. But there you have it. Sonic Fox, Super Noon. Handshake is completed. Oh, oh, oh. good He's morning. Not hooking indeed. God here in spirit. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, in of spirit. <laughs> Shout out to the boy at home. Yeah, both of these guys, PGRZ, top 10 for Sonic Fox, rounding out at number one. We got plenty of top 10 competitors from the PGRZ in the building as well. Moke, Dogra, the kills. Well, the kills, they were the top 10, but he's he pretty was close. close. He was yeah, he's pretty close. close. I saw Reynolds eating pizza in the crowd. You know, <laughs> he is in that uh, PGRZ you know, as well. You know? He's looking good. Here we go. First match, top eight Dragon Ball Fighters here at Southern California Regionals. It's going to be a sick bracket today. Hopefully you guys are strapped in and ready to go. So you got Bardock on Kid Buu, two of the most prominent point characters you see. And look at this Sonic Fox offense already, right? Really likes to lead in with that Lariat, the Dragon Rush. Ooh, test Super Noon early. Yeah, and Sonic Fox, so much hard in his play, right? Especially he knocks you down. He somehow manages to always get offense, but Super Noon reflect into that uh, whip punish with Kid Buu. One of the best characters are getting reflect whip punishes. I was going to say, there's some things about Kid Buu, right? But that reflect into the five man still cold. <laughs> oh, yeah, and that jump back key blast. His air key blast is one of the best at doing that pickup. Lariat into that Nappa assist, so good. He uses pretty much every assist well off Lariat. Everybody's favorite level three here? No, level one. Gonna dump it all, go for the level three oh, with Nappa. Oh yeah, scream on him. Get that kill, first character, smoke Sonic Fox in the driver's seat here. So he takes out. Kid Boo, one of the most important characters for Super Noon. And you said Super Noon trying to get frisky at the round star, just swing your buttons. Ooh, tough mix up the block there, yeah, with that 16 assist plus Nappa falling on you. Jump back, air dash back, jump D with uh, Nappa there. Runs under. Welcome back, that big jump H, and another Dragon Rush from Sonic Fox. Yeah, he, uh, you can see the start up with the Reflect trying to slap him away. It wasn't happening. Level 3 again. So many screens. It's the OP like here. It's both assists available. Oh, oh, and the late air dash cancels Sonic Fox all over him. And this character Nappa, I think, is perfect for him, right? Mm. Character that can run super, super strong offense. He has uh, the Cybermen to set things up for himself, and then he has the mix-ups besides that. You can see the Cybermen coming deep in. Ooh, you can see he was trying to test him with the Dragon Rush again. Super new, a new tool in his arsenal when Vegeta's on the board, though, that DP. Yeah, nice to get out of that pressure, right? Somebody like Sonic Fox is going to smother you. So having that invincible option is just a really nice tool in the back. Tag out into 16. Maybe air dash reset here. I'm going to take the command throw on the ground instead. The late rise into the spark. He wants to make sure he at least gets to play with the Super Saiyan Vegeta. Yeah, I like that delayed spark and go to the low after, right? Good choice off the uh, health vanish there. Lots of bar for Super Noon to dump. Not going to spend any just yet. Wake up H, command throw to get out of there. Ooh, good blocks on the reflect real quick. Sonic Fox always on the defensive. Man, Sonic's defense pretty sharp right there. That's not an easy situation to get out of. It makes it out. See, Super Noon trying to use those air key blasts. Sonic Fox has done nothing since Sparking got activated, by the way, but the run of Dragon Rush. So successful this set already. Super Noon has seven bars on deck, so I assume he's going to dump out three. Yeah, it's been the final flash. He gets Oki after this, so we'll see him run up. Goes low, Sonic ready for it, and the challenge. That standing L side switch on that double jump. Yeah, you see Sonic getting the counter here right there. Super Noon was trying to delay the string, but delayed it a little bit too much. Swung with the Bardock and yeah, we're eating this level three, the favorite cutscene. Yeah, one of the uh, few level threes I'm sure we'll see in this top eight. <laughs> Maybe a handful of them. Yeah. 
That's a one. You gotta get the counter start in the chat. Start. That's one level three. You gotta keep keep tally so that way you don't forget. Oh, punish? Yeah, it gets onto the other side. Sonic Fox didn't lose a character and cleans it up in the first game. Yeah, and Super Noon was thinking about which team to use against Sonic Fox, right? He's really been filling Vegeta, and I felt like you should go with what he's most comfortable with. But you can see how good Sonic Fox is at playing around that assist at this point in the game. Yeah, what Sonic Fox does is he runs forward, he waits, he lets you call Vegeta assist, and then he just backs up, right? He's like, yeah, once Vegeta assist is gone, I don't have to worry about anything. No confirm off that, like Super Noon used both of his assists, so he couldn't do anything after that Super Dash. Yeah, unfortunately for Super Noon. Couldn't capitalize like he wanted to off the hit, so now Sonic Fox has him locked in the corner. Both assists available as well, you know, one's coming. Yeah, reflect out of there, and he was airborne. If he was on the ground, he could have 2-H that, but catches him trying to defensively call that 16, and now Super Noon, big opportunity here. Probably one of the biggest hits he's had so far. Can run some offense off of this. Air Invincible level one in the Vanish. That's like a net zero game for both of them. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna bring the Nat right now, trying to set up with a cell assist. Oh, and the S is at him, good stuff. He blasts, but couldn't get the auto combo follow-up. Yeah, and Sonic Fox on the prowl, right after trying to run up and catch him. Pick up off the Vegeta. He was reaching into the dirt, trying to grab one of those Cybermen, and Super New with a strong assist call there, catches him out. Ball in the front, yes. And there's the Dragon Rush, broken from Sonic Fox. Oh, and the, the Cybermen! What in the world? The little homie messed him up. He yeah. thought he was gonna have to confirm, but it actually kind of ruined things there. Vegeta, the big homie, that's, that's kind of the small homie at the same time. Yeah, Vegeta, he's not the tallest, you know. <laughs> I, I'm sure his ID says six foot, but you know, <laughs> you know how it is. Gonna get that 2H, drop him here, get the kill with one meter. Oh, yes. So we're gonna be bringing the cell in, selling Vegeta. Sonic Fox, still looking as healthy as ever. Hasn't lost the character yet in the set. Late vanish there, reflect, reflect, air dash over for the mix up, but Vegeta wow. assist and blue combos. Still count those. Missed it though at the tail end. Super Noon didn't get it. Wow. Yeah, two H was from the Raptors. I can't believe Sonic Fox super dashed all the way up there. He was like, yeah, why not? Man, you see Sonic Fox air to air jumping and from way over there. Waited out Vegeta, now he can go in. Right now that Vegeta is no longer a threat, you gotta watch Lariat into 16. Ooh, you see him moving up, he's waiting for it. There's that Lariat, but it clipped him in the air. Yeah, you see both players really playing around their assist cooldowns. Not wanting to approach without available. Just as I say that the Sonic Fox going to Super oh, Dash. Oh, the reaction level three in the air. He faded Super Noon into it so hard. He loves those air level threes to beat the Super Dashes. And now does he sparking or not is the question. Great air Dash block. over. Yeah. Clean defense. Got clipped by the 16 assist. It's going to be a big pickup for Sonic Fox. He'll have three bars at the end of this combo. You can dump just a couple of them to get the job done. Yeah, the most heartbreaking thing about that sequence was Super Noon had so much blue life, right? He could have brought it all back with Sparking because the raw level three hit, but one more combo and that's it. Yeah, vanish pickup for Super Noon here. A lot of bar. Surprised he didn't do grounded final flash for the mix up, but he does have. Su oh man, that was sick. Oh, where was the rest of the combo, Super Noon? Big opportunity missed there. He's looking for the tag from Sonic. That's why he backed up. Ooh, those key blasts scary, but Vanish pickup gets a little extra damage on Bardock. He's so close to going down. Sonic needs to find that opportunity to tag. Yeah, but this was cooling down, so he wasn't going to be able to do it, and the DP comes. Get rid of that Rebellion neutral. Man, that was a wild DP. Super Noon gets it. Sparking available for both players, and you know how scary Sonic's Sparking 16 is. Air dash over. Nice block. Oh, Sparking in response to the command grab startup. Yeah, after those few mix-ups, I don't blame him, right? Sonic yeah. Fox is... He was looking a little too warm, right? Final flash. Number three now. Superman has to think about baiting the spark in here. And he, oh, I thought he did successfully, but he was just in range to get hit by the blast. Down tech buttons, help. Holds the vanish, gets picked up by the rocket fist. Sonic Fox with a confirm, but missed the air dash cancel. Hold the vanish. And missed oh. another combo to scramble. Oh, the shoulder. He leaned all the way in on him. You gotta be careful in the scramble. So easy to go into the super that has to put at least you're you so vulnerable if your opponent's still on the ground. Optimal stuff from Sonic Fox into the level three. Yeah, huge damage on this sparking 16 confirmed from Sonic. Not quite that, but just a pixel left. Yeah, faking the cross up with the super dash. Ooh, super Noon jumps back there. And those long range normals and blasts him on the toes. Super Noon gets clipped. A 2 0 for Sonic Fox. He moves into winner's finals of SCR 2018.
This is like his fourth top eight this weekend or something like that. Something like that. He's I don't know. BB Tag, first place in Injustice, Soul Calibur. My man is going in. Yeah, BB Tag, I think he got fifth. Uh, Injustice, he won. Soul Calibur top eight, he's in winner's side. Yeah. Dragon Ball top eight, he's now in winner's finals. He's pretty good at fighting games. A little bit, a little bit, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, we're number one on the PGRZ for a reason as well. Sonic Fox continuing his slaughter of the competition. Yeah, as he sends Super Nintendo to loser side, so it'll be in loser side, top eight now, waiting kind of the shark infested waters down there. Gonna Boys. jump into the other side of winner's top eight. We have Japan Japan matchup, so winner's finals, as kind of is typical in many Dragon Ball Fighters events, will be America versus Japan, right? Yes. A rivalry we were seeing a lot between the two regions where, uh, you know, event after event, we just see them clashing in all of these brackets, and it's good to see that it's, you know, kind of continued here, even at SCR. Yeah, absolutely. Three Japanese players in top eight. Moke also in losers is going to be facing the Kill Sage. Yeah. So yeah, another one of the matchups that we're getting used to seeing when it comes to U.S. versus Japan, right? Kill Sage uh, finds himself in top eights pretty frequently as well. Yeah, we see it down there on the bottom of the bracket, right? Uh, that match you just talked about, the Sage Moke match. But on winner's side, Kazunoko Dogra are going to be the next match. Uh, both of these guys really talented as well. Kazunoko just playing in the Guilty Gear top eight just yeah. a second ago. Yeah. Uh, I believe he's in winner's finals. Yes, play Kizzy K in that. I don't know if they've already played or not, but uh, Dogra as well, talented at lots of different games. Two players who you see them in lots of top eights over the weekends and all the games they're interested in playing. And uh, I always like watching them play, especially because Dogra has been switching up his team. Kazunoko has made some adjustments yeah, too okay, since the okay. uh, patch. It's cool to see this version of the game now being played a lot more, right? So uh, we're kind of establishing what it's like, what characters people are picking up. People are switching teams. They're trying out new stuff. I mean, even Sonic Fox switching uh, Zamasu out for Nappa, yeah. trying him out at this tournament, and obviously trying him all the way to winner's finals. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, that tends to happen when Sonic Fox gets a hold of a character, right? Sonic Fox is so hard to beat because you like, even if you beat him at one tournament, he comes out to the next tournament with like a totally new team, yeah, yeah. and like you just have to block. Yeah. You just get mixed, and you just die, and you're like, what happened? And you know what's wild about it is that he doesn't even have to lose tournaments to switch teams, right? Yeah. My man just won Evo. He's like, I'm still gonna show you something new at the next tournament. Yeah, exactly. I mean, why not? If you're that talented at juggling that many games, that many characters, that many different teams, you know, it works out for him. You see Kazunoko with Gotenks, and he's made that switch on his team. One little fella for another. Oh, and no Broly, actually, from Dogra. We got the Kid Buu 16 Goku. All right. Man, it's weird to see Dogra back to the uh, the more natural hair color, right? He was rocking yeah, the blonde yeah, for a while. Yeah. Super Saiyan. <laughs> And of course, Kazunoko substituting that kid move for the Gotenks. Man, Kazunoko has really angry eyebrows. Always. You know when I look at him, Always. his eyebrows are so furrowed all the time. I don't know why. <laughs> like, he wakes up uppercut and it always hits. Like, just <laughs> why, why are you upset? Like, I don't understand, but, you know, we'll see. Still rocking that. Jean. Man, cut me off mid-sentence. Yeah, I had to go. I was like, I love Gotenks. <laughs> this character is so cool. What you think about this character, bro? Ah, uh, Kid Boo. You know. <laughs> Kid Boo players are. I never trust a Kid Boo player, dude. Not in my life. I don't know. But Dogra's sticking with the character. He's been playing this Man. since the beginning of the game. That late air dash caught him. This and guy, Kazunoko, when he calls this Gohan assist, I get impressed every time. Yeah, he's so good at utilizing that assist, which you don't see often. Backdash sets out the ghost, throws up the peace sign. Air dash and the tick throw. That last little ghost back there throwing him off. Boom, drop him again. Two bars available. Backdash set up the ghost. And he waits, sees that there's that reflect. Last go, the ghost comes out. Auto combo mix oh up. Empty goodness. jump low. And go tanks for Kazunoko is going to get the kill without a scratch. Man, so good at calling assists. Every time an opponent is just off the ground, super dash in Gohan to bring him to the ground. That way you still have Yamcha assist available, and you get a ground and mix up. And then he calls the Yamcha as he floats over his head, catches him slipping. That was messed up. Yeah, he just had it on the other side. You know, Kazunoko's air movement and control is excellent, right? That's one thing that he's so good about. Waits for the ghost to see what he does. Try to wake up with the air throw. Didn't have it. Missed the pickup, but yeah, air to air after that whiff 2H. Dogra in huge trouble here. Kazunoko. Four meters to smoke this Android 16, and that's exactly what he's going to do. Level up. How about another one? Doesn't oh. even need it. And there's not a scratch on Kazunoko. And it's three green bars for Kaz. And he's got Gohan back in, who's leveled up now as well. We got that level one on deck. Air to air. Ooh, the double jump into the H, and then catches the reflect recovery. Mix up here. Air dash to the other side. He was ready for it. Yamcha assist. 
Mix up, fastball, oh. other side. He's dead. It looked like the start of a dragon rush from Dogra right there. Got caught flinching. Yeah, just that one little fake out moment, right? Dropped the elbow on him, six bars. Kazunoko puts out the ghost, puts out the spear ball. And he's gonna howl on him at the very, very end, the level three. Oh. Is this actually? Oh it's a perfect! My. Yeah, it's so hard to get a perfect in this game. You can't have your assist hit. You can't take any kind of damage. Cause an open, and the brows are still furrowed. That's the thing. You could have three green health bars at the end and still not get a perfect. If you get hit by a sparking, no damage, but still not a perfect. That was a, a true perfect from the legend Inoue. Yeah, and Dogra already starting this game better than the I last one, but he's picked up low one more time. Extend with the Yamcha assist for extra bar, extra corner carry. Put him in the corner, and you know we're going to see the peace sign one more time. But on the ghost, gets hit in the air. Drop him back down into the relaunch oh off the ghost. Cause a no-go. Up tech gets the air back dash. Got Togoro some breathing room for only a moment. And now Kazunoko puts another character away. Yeah, gonna drop him with the ghost one more time. Throw up the peace sign. And Kazunoko, the way he plays neutral is fascinating, right? Because he just jumps at you and it's like, is it super dash? Is it jump call Yamcha? Is it jump call Gohan? Is it jump into just H? There's like so many, like he plays like such a basic kind of flow chart in the air, but he does it so exceptionally well. Yeah, like, I, I really do not see anyone call Gohan assist like him. Yeah, his Gohan assist is the absolute best. He's like too good. Gotenks assist, not quite back yet, so he couldn't extend that any further than he already did. Tries to bring out the Galactic Donuts, hops over the sprinkles. Oh, interrupted the 16 assist call. Stared at each other for saying guard canceled out from Dogra. Oh, oh the, the armor! Page. He doesn't have any assists to extend here, though. Just gonna take the level three in the corner. I like that. So he's only in the corner here. No ground command grabs to bring him slightly out, so. Yeah, no cross up threat was there. Jumps out of the way of the Yamcha assist. That being gone's pretty good because you kind of need the person to be on the ground or locked down for uh, Gotenks assist to be kind of a threat, right? Because of the tracking. Air to air, jumping L. Cannot score him out. He's got the timing for all the techs ready. Ghost reflect, oh, he just waited. No. He delayed the ghost and he just <laughs> tried to get the reflect. Gogoro blowing up by the Kamikaze ghost. Yeah, Kazunoko's ghost control is so good, man. That jumping L, the little scary movie hand, it hits oh, you like five times. Oh my goodness, and you see the auto combo start up, you're like, is it high or low? How many hits are the high? And then you just get dragon rush. Ghost, ghost. up again, Styles P. Holds that last ghost one more time. He's going to get another mix up off it. Guard cancel oh, out. He got sandwiched between the Gohan assist, and it just keeps going. Auto combo mix up oh. again. Good blocks, we have the H punches, and then you ain't going nowhere. Dogra not watching his toes. Two bars on deck. We're building close to three. Will this be enough for Casanova? You see him float back in the air so that he can get that spacing on the ghost one more time. Air dash in. Defensive sparking. The Beyblade lets it rip. Age version. And that, man, the way he uses Gohan assist in the air is so good, right? That's he jumps wild, back, calls man. Gohan to lock you down from like super jump high. And Yamcha assist again. This guy Casanova is all over Dogra here. He's struggling to put anything together. And you know the ghosts are going to come back out. He's still got to deal with all these mix ups. He's going to vanish out. Oh, yeah, he held the vanish, so he didn't get punished by the 2 8. <laughs> Stray Ghost caught Dogra as he's about to get a pick up here, but running out of sparking as we speak. This will be the last little mix. Air Dash cancel. This is going to be good damage because of that 2M starter. Yeah, that jump edge actually hit him while he was in the air as well, but the Air Dash gave him time to float to the ground and get opened up. Yeah, and this is a pretty good 50 50 actually for Goku here. So is he going to fake the instant Air Dash and go with the uh, down forward B? Oh, no, he actually didn't get close enough. He tried to do double overhead yeah. and the reflect ended up pushing him too far away. Kazunoko gonna add on some damage, not get the kill, but he has mixed up for himself. Yamcha! Oh, this is huge! Sunday. Both characters at once. Oh, Yamcha fell out. But yeah, take that level three. Look at Kazunoko's team. All that blue life, he's bleeding back there. Let's see what the mix gonna be this time from Dogra. Air oh, dash over it. Yeah, he's yeah. able to vanish out. Left enough of a gap, and then they actually hit him on the back of the neck, but he canceled directly into the fist for the overhead. Yeah, double overhead. Ended up catching him there. Kazunoko. He could actually... I wonder if he'll take the snap here to get rid of the blue life or just take damage. He wants damage. Indeed, no meter spin as well. Oh, oh Beyblade. Behind Don't the back of close. the neck. Don't get too close. Hits on both sides. That's going to do it. Kazunoko cleans it up, and he goes on 2-0.
He's so good, man. I, like, I like the fact that you called it lockdown with the Gohan assist because that's not what we think of the Gohan assist doing, right? Nope. But he turns it into that with the way he calls it. The heights he makes sure his opponent is at when he calls it is so precise every time. Because he's like, when he jumps in the air, it's like, do I regular jump and just do H? Do I jump call Gohan? Do I jump call... Uh, Yamcha assist, do I jump super dash and then do any of those other things I just yeah. mentioned? And it's like, why is him jumping in the air like a seven-way guess, yeah, right? Yeah, I guess exactly. nobody else it feels like that, but when Kazunoko jumps, you're like, this is bad. Yeah, I should yeah. be very, very scared. Oh, man, he like he like has the few seconds of foresight to really tell where his opponent's gonna be when it comes to their air angles, right? Where they're gonna traject themselves in the air. And he's always so good at making sure whether it's going to be the Gohan if you're slightly off the ground, yeah. or if you're gonna be ground and he puts you directly into the Yamcha. And he does something that not a lot of other people do, which is like when he hits you air to air with like a jumping L L L and you're blocking and he knows he's gonna go over you, he calls Yamcha on the other side oh, so yeah. that way you get sandwiched and you can't like most people backdash there yeah. or they try to challenge with a button, but that's like really good recognition of the situation and being like, my momentum is going to carry me past this character. I should just call Yamcha assist. Yeah. Um, he is definitely one of the most impressive assist callers in the game to me, like in all yeah. aspects. He has a pretty actually like reputable versus game background too, yes, right? Yeah, That's one thing sure. about him. So yeah, Kazunoko is super impressive. Obviously in top eight of this tournament, top eight of Guilty Gears. Well, I don't know how he did in BB Tag actually. I'm curious. Uh, I believe he was in winner's finals. Was he? He made oh, yeah, that he got, he got second. He got second, he got second to, place? to Big Jonah. Big jo Jonah won. That's right. So we're going to have Moke versus the Kill Sage. Man, I love watching Sage play. And you know what's great is, like, I feel like he was one of those players before where when I watched Sage play, I was like, man, he is so much better than where he places, right? He's yeah, so, so yeah, good. Yeah. But lately, I feel like I don't have to say that. Nope. Because he's just been <laughs> playing super well, right? Yeah. Sage is so, so talented. Yeah, well, I'm a big fan of this team as well. This is the team I'm looking to make my business squad here. This is a good business squad. Patch. Yeah. I, because he played this team last patch. And then the patch happened, and it's like, so Sage, what's your team going to be? And he's like, well, <laughs> I mean, my team is great this uh, this patch, right? Big chillin', yeah. Gohan, Goten, 16, going against the Kid Buu, Bardock, Trunks of Moke. with the last Trunks remaining. Yeah, Trunks assists got a little love this patch. Trunks oh, yeah. a little better. I, I wouldn't say, like, man, Trunks is so sick this patch. People are sleeping on him. That's just, like, you know, a bunch of jargon. Uh, he's just all right. <laughs> like, you know, he just gets the job done. I'm surprised he called the... Uh, the Gotenks assist in neutral. It's kind of weird in terms of tracking. Mix up here, empty jump low. Yeah. I like empty jump low as a starter mix up. Like yes. the first mix up to go to in a round, I think it's a good choice. Yeah, very much so. Catches the tag, gonna lock him down as well. Finds the reflect. Two M's out of the corner as well. Again, he's calling that Gotenks assist in neutral. It's interesting. Yeah, and that jump in, M in the air gets the vanish for the side switch. Yep. It's the big combo. It's a lot of damage actually. Set him up with Trunks assist. Uppercuts out of there. Oh, which I guess the Dragon Rush is still a little bit too far forward. Oh, late Ooh. Super Dash and Moke was ready for it. Gonna get a meterless kill there. Yeah, that's one of those where you're expecting your opponent to like maneuver around a little bit more, but instead they're scouting, they're camping. They're ready for it. Age Beyblade has a 16 assist. Called it a little late, it looked like. Moke with the challenge. No assist for him, though, and that's why Sage tried to challenge afterwards. Looks like trying to scream on him. Oh, yeah. see the 3M just out of range. That air scream beam. And another 2H call out on the Super Dash. Moke scouted it. He's going to spend the level 3 with Bardock. So our third one I think we've seen so far. Chat, you got to keep Tally. Gets a good mix up off of this. Still, you thought it was gone. Empty low, but the reflect. Ooh, yeah, but Kill Sage loves reflecting the 2M. You see him do it with Gohan. You see him do it with Gotenks. Got three bars on deck. Let's set up the Ghost Styles P. Chunk up the deuces. Oh, HB Blade, other side, and yeah, he just flies out of there. I like that choice a lot. Kid Buu assist, waited, and the staggered low. Yeah, didn't really get like a neutral jump setup off of that, but the Dragon Rush behind changed the future. Yeah, but gets you, gets you cost, lost from the lights, and as well as it has low blocks on right. I got the hit stun buff, but still, very uh, good Dragon Rush. Yeah, I like that. It's a nice thing that Bardock has, right? Able to do double level one by himself, and then you do two more afterwards. Perfect for Moke's team there to get the damage he needed. That uh, vanish clips him there. Late vanish, yeah, didn't get the uh, splat. Didn't commit to it. Oh, the Bardock assist rearing its head again, preventing Kill Sage from uh, progressing forward. Yeah, it's so fast that it just comes out and really catches you kind of off guard. Mix up, empty low, nice block. See I love mix-ups like that when the opponent has sparking, right? Where you're a good character length away, you can use the arm ball and your assist to cover. Very low risk. 
Yeah, he didn't end up sparking on it, but exactly, right? It's like a good choice. Wow, had the low, didn't believe. Air dash over. I'm okay with the block. Yeah, kill safe, like you said. Smartly delayed and sparking. Oh, air dash back in the corner. Oh, sick. It's got three bars here. Gonna vanish. Drop him, and he built the third bar anyway. Really nice combo choice from Sage. He's gonna get the job done here on Kid Boo. Calculate. So only two characters left for Monkey. Still has an activated sparking, but Kid Boo going down is pretty big for this team. Especially because if you, if you end up with like 16 trunks, like as the anchor fight, you know, I like 16 in that one. <laughs> yeah. Just flips out and gives Sage some space. Yeah, yeah, recognize that he vanished while he was in the air. Oh, he jumps the combo! That was a sick confirm from Moke, though. Got that falling jump M and then saw that it hit and was like, okay, I'm gonna get it another level three. See what the mix up's gonna be after. Air to have four. Wow, he tried to get the cross up and Sage was walking into it. Yeah. Air to air. Didn't get that jump H he was looking for. Avoids change the future and until that assist is back, it's a pretty honest fight for Sage here. Some jump forward, air dash back, clean and nice and slow. Got him. Nice. Just the wall bounce this time as well. Took the ground command grab. What's next? There's a cover to the up tag. Gets out with the Rebellion Spear. Um, hits some, hits uh, Trunks in the eye there. Yeah, those big esports normals from Android oh, yes. 16. Big reach. Vanish. He's gonna try to extend this as far as he can. It won't be a kill. Maybe Spark? Yeah. You gotta keep Bardock alive here because Anchor Trunks. You know, I don't like him in this fight. Neither does Moke. Oh, two ways from the kill stage, though. We've seen him make comebacks time and time again with this 16. Gonna get yeah. the ground from Man Grab one more time. Draining the life off of this Bardock here. Runs up. Staggered Ooh, low tick one. throw. Level one, and it's gonna burn through the yes. sparking healing. We got a clean one on one here. SA just bringing it back with his solo 16. And Moke, you see the portrait flash and why Spark is just about up now. Yeah, this has uh, turned into a pretty good fight. Challenge, and you see the jump back. He didn't want to deal with that situation. No 2H on the Super Dash. And yeah, those projectiles are very scary. Advantage canceled the stare down. Nice block on the Shining Slash and the Reflect after. Man, Sage's defense was looking sharp there. You see Sage now. Oh, I was going to say, not recklessly throwing homie Fizz. He chases down the back dash with the stand light. Level three for the 50 50. And if he gets a hit here, he might kill him. This is going to be a lot of damage. And he gets a setup after Sage working on a big comeback. Oh, Goes low to him. Oh, oh he reflects the reflect. He got baited. Huge He's gonna build punish. a bar at the end of this year. This does do more damage than the level one extension here. It's gonna so be much close. meter, not oh, gonna kill Sage. Dead. Overhead, nice block. The oh. challenge from Moke. He's gonna bring him all the way to the corner. Drop him, and the level one should do it. Moke prevents the comeback. Big seven frame live from 16. Tried to challenge after the zero on the overhead. Oh. Man, I don't know how Sage always, he always makes it so scary, right? 16 comes out and you're just like, oh boy. Yeah, that extension does do more damage than level one. He yeah. knows that. Just didn't get the job done. It was so close. We're going into game two. Yeah, what Sage did was the most damaging combo. Yeah, yeah. And it's just unfortunate that, you know, afterwards the Oki situation didn't work out for him. Oh, that Ooh. late jump age. <laughs> Gotenk's a little fella, but he's got big hands when he swings on you with that yeah. jumping heavy. It's got a surprisingly big hitbox. You gotta catch him. Oh, looks like he's 2 h but towards the latter end of the tag, Moke ended up catching him. Oh, that screen barely caught him on the tip back dash. I like that choice from Moke there. Just get out of that situation. Caught him low, 2M, kind of staggered there. Put him in the dirt one more time. Gonna run him to the corner, change the future. And that kid boosts us. I like the guard cancel. Oh, yeah. Didn't delay enough to get the wall bounce. Wow. Okay. Continuing with the two L's. Able to win in the clash situation. Give me that blue life back. Yeah, I was standing L there from Gohan after. Mix up here. Air dash or empty jump low. I like that he's leading with that mix up a lot. He knows that Sage has good defense, right? So that kind of a mix up is better against a player who's sharp. Level one with the javelin. And that'll do it. Moke closes it out against Gotenks. Was enough damage. Now we got Mr. Gohan on deck. Two bars on the side of the kill stage. Oh, tries to put out that big stop sign. Wow, the crouch here actually got hit by the Moke jump in. Sword normals, man. Sets him up. Kid Boo assist there. Trunks, you know, he tries to have mix ups. Trust, yeah, he does. He does his best, man. You know so. Oh, tried to challenge. Oh. Yeah, didn't look like he was bust there. Because of that, he's gonna get dropped. Bardock assisted. Ascension, not what he wanted, yeah. 
and to change the future. Two piece on that one, right back where we started just a few minutes ago. The solo 16. And we know she's on tape, uh, the kill stage didn't want to telegraph his tag. Ended up eating the key blast. Yeah, the jump back, avoid the assist there. Bardock assist still available for Moke though. Yeah, and he calls it right on cue. So good for catching that forward movement. You try to run across the ground and cover distance, get over projectiles. Level three again with Bardock. Burned into everybody's brain by this point. Everybody's favorite cutscene. Oh, that was supposed to be a sparking bait, yeah. but I guess it beats Reflect too. Yeah. Two bars available. Let's Throw that it. javelin, hit him with the trunks. That'll do it. Moke over Echo Fox's very own to kill Sage. Indeed, indeed. Clean play for Moke. We saw it time and time again, right? When Sage was down to his 16 and had sparking on deck, he made sure his corner setups were safe. So yeah. They would not lose to the sparking. And Sage knew, knew that, right? So he didn't give him the sparking either time in like a telegraph fashion. We delayed it the second time. This one, he got punished with a reflect as well. So he didn't actually get that to pop it either. But I really like that stuff from Moke, right? He was made sure all his setups were clean. Yeah, because you mentioned on the first setup, right? He did the far range change the yeah, future yeah. with the gumball. So yeah, that exactly. way, like even if he spark activates, he's far enough away that he doesn't have that immediate like blowback situation. I believe situation. The, the gumball will also make you block. Yeah, so, yeah. so you're just forced to deal with it, right? And then the gumball happens, and then the mix-up happens, and if you survive that, then you can spark, right? Yeah, exactly. Which is like what we saw there. But yeah, that was really, really well executed. Just like the execution on Omen of Sorrow is tough. It's coming out November 6th, in case you guys are curious. Just a few more months away. You can pre-order it right now. Check it out, Omen of Sorrow. If you're a Saber Wolf fam like I am, you're going to be playing <laughs> Caleb, who you can see on the right there, coming out on PS4. Shout out to the studio down in Chile, who's working yeah, on this game. Yeah. Uh, a really, like, fantastic fighting game. If you guys haven't gotten a chance to try it uh, at SCR so far, uh, I recommend it. It's playable here. You guys can just... Uh, kind of wander back there and, and get a chance. It's a cool game for sure. Yeah, I got to play some Adam yesterday. Oh, and you can also use a promo code SCR2018 to get 10% off all products here at SCR and for Vertigear Valid September 14th through the 17th. So again, visit vertigear.com and use that code to get 10% off all of the fantastic shares as we have them provided throughout the arena here at SoCal Regionals. And there you have it. Thanks to the people who helped make SCR happen as we got Apology Man up on the stage. It's coup d'etat. It's going to be a good match. I, yeah. Did these two actually play earlier in the tournament? Is this like a double jeopardy situation? I do not recall. Yeah, I'm getting the thumbs up. I thought so. Okay. But man, the crowd's getting rowdy back there. I don't like it. <laughs> Apology, man. Hailing from NorCal. Coup d'etat. Hailing from Las Vegas. So two out-of-towners, but, you know, two of the closest regions you could possibly get to SoCal. You know what makes me really happy is that last night, Apology Man tweeted, NorCal is better than Vegas. And I was looking at the bracket today, and I was like, oh, boy. I cannot <laughs> wait to retweet that tweet in about 10 minutes here, depending on how this match goes. <laughs> Woo, I'm going to open up my Twitter right now. Hold on. Make sure I find Apology Man on Twitter. He does it to himself. He does it. He asks for it himself. Does oh, it I got to pull that bad boy up to have that retweet ready. All right, here we go. Apology Man leading off with the nail. The nail. The nail, the TM. Why the I gotta be like that, man? You no, know, it was dubbed at the Summon of Power. It cannot be changed. Yeah, you gotta watch that jump bell from Piccolo at all times. Everybody knows, right? Disjointed her box on that bad boy. So he can just lead with that jumping L over <laughs> and over and over. Self proclaimed 95% of his neutral right there. Yeah, I mean, that's the best way to pay Piccolo. Oh. Neutral missed the jump H. Take into the Dragon Rush anyway. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Make him think you got a block, and then he just sneaks the Dragon Rush in there. Nice extension with the Goku assist. Something we come to recognize from Apology Man. Yeah, he's going to get the air dash forward in the second level one after this. Bro, why is he dead? I don't know why he's dead, but the damage on this team is humongous. And he has three characters that maybe not the best mix-ups. Piccolo probably the best mix-ups out of all of them, but it's like characters that when they win the neutral, they hurt. Yeah, that two-touch game. Yeah, it's definitely a two-touch team, which makes it very, very scary for Apology Man. When every time he hits you, drop him here. Go into that level three with Bardock. All right. He might be far enough out of the corner yeah. that the air dash over cross up is a threat. He's going to say the exact same thing. Watch your neck, Apology Man. Yeah. Oh, you didn't watch your neck, Apology Man. Man, I got my hands over the retweet button as we speak. Air dash yeah. over in the corner. You don't watch your neck. You don't wash your neck. Come on, fam. You're going to boil your cereal? What's oh, wrong with you, bro? Goodness. I don't like it. Not for real. Ooh! Coup d'etat with the big jump like to snuff that super dash. All right, I woke up. He got me. That was pretty sick. Staggers oh. that dash up L. Caught him in the face there. Nice work. 
bring them down. Could they talk two bars on deck? We can get the not nah, a smash in the city. Make some more of a soft knockdown. I'll take it to the back end. Try and get some space back. Bring out that Piccolo assist as well. Yeah, that air dash over. Ooh, double axe handle the Saiyan bloodline. Yeah, drops him with that double jump H. That's a really good move actually for him to just kind of float around in the neutral and do tagging a Piccolo here. As he has like better neutral control, Ryan, he works well with his uh, Goku assist. Ooh, Ooh, I like that from Apology Man. Puts out the orb again. Nice reflect though. Could they talk getting that out of there? <laughs> Apology Man. Run up, jump back L, right? Just in case. It's such a safe <laughs> defensive thing to do in the neutral. Ooh. Got him with 16 here. The range on that 16, you must respect it. Yeah, he's going to drop up five meters on deck. All right, put him down in the corner there with 16. One, curious about what Apology Man does on Wake Up. He does have Sparking available. Oh, he got behind him. Two in a row. Those corner mix-ups off the level three have been the cross-up. That's going to do it on Piccolo. He's out of here. Solo Goku left. They talk looking strong here in game one. Apology Man, slight meter advantage. Still has a Sparking on deck as well. Oh, that was a dangerous super dash. Man, if you eat uh, an Android 16 2H right now into Sparking, uh, it's peace. Sayonara. Oh, oh, yeah. Super dash caught him, and he got the pickup off Bardock. <laughs> All right. Kuri Ita ready to convert off any and every hit he gets directly into the level three once more. That was a clean pickup here. Let's see what the mix-up's going to be here. Apology Man, Sparking available. Yeah, it does go for it. And he challenges after. Nice. He ground blocked the sparking so that he didn't have to deal the plus frames in the air. Super dash in. 16 assists. Didn't connect. And nice break on the dragon run. Clutch break from Kude Tal right there. Wow, Ooh. ran under with the jump H still connected. Another good break. Got the 16 assists available again as well. Nice. Jumped up. Super dash punish on the Kamehameha. Perfect. He super dashed in. Saw that 16 hit. And he didn't hit anything in the air. Let himself land and then confirmed after. That was really well done. Perfect. Everything about that was really, really nice. And now, Apology Man, no sparking left. Dragon oh. Rush. <laughs> You're so busy thinking whether it's going to be a cross up or it's a high or it's a low or an empty cross up into a lower that you just get Dragon Rush. Draw me like one of your French foxes, huh? That's what's going on down there. <laughs> Look at the camera for two seconds. Apology Man does it to himself as we get into the uh, second match here. That was pretty much Sage's aesthetic when we played Mafia. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely a, like his aesthetic all the time. It's like, all right. Bardock assist, run up. Wow, I can't believe he crossed him up. I, I wonder if that was a defensive assist call, and then oh. it got turned into like a tag because yeah, of the side switch. Yeah, that definitely happens very often in this game. But Kudetan is going to take advantage of it. Has the perfect one in. Get him to the ground. Yeah, dropped him into that 16 assist, but didn't get the pickup off of it. Bardock still available after the perfect attack, or the rolling crush he goes for instead. More Stagger sweet. pressure, 16 still available. Oh my, oh, oh my, he just stood there. I was like, what happened? That was dangerous. Apology Man has the Goku in because of it. Nice. And if, if you're Apology Man, I think you've got to get Goku out of here, right? Really pivotal assist to this team. And he has a lot of blue life up there, which is what he's going to bring him in. Hold this. I love team. that. I love that. Yeah, try to catch him. Even neutral jump M to maybe get. Wow, jump oh, L lost there. Did, yeah. yeah, late vanish. Delayed as low as possible so you can get him on the ground. With that uh, M right there to set him up on the incoming and got the Goku. This is huge to snipe out the assist like this. Yeah, optimal combos from Kurita as well. Five bars on deck. Mm -hmm. Spend that meter, dump it to kill Goku. Oh, yeah, yeah. combo another super. Yeah. Boom, boom. And that'll do it. And a full life Bardock in, right? So he can get Cell back there, kind of regen some of that blue life. Apology Man's team gutted, right? Reverse it around. Yeah, it's the best look for Kurita getting rid of that primary oh, assist. My. That was such a sick call out. He's like, I know you're negative. I'm just going to go for the Dragon Rush. Apology Man, not looking for it. Level three. Yeah, one of those things that works on the good players, right? They know they're negative, so you take advantage of it with a throw. Mix up here. Other Ooh, side again. Snuck in, and we popped the spark and switched sides on him. Mm -hmm. He's got the air dash loops afterwards. Kudeta looking on point. Drop him with the mixer at the end. Throw that javelin. Bring out both hands. That's going to do it. Apology man, solo Piccolo. So nail. Just nail, nail. Okay, nail for now. Nail. It can be Piccolo if he makes this comeback. Okay. Right. You're gonna All dub right. it on him like that? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh I, I cannot believe that jump in reach. Jump Guard cancel out of there. Run to oh. half screen. That was like Michael Jordan. He just ran all the way up from half screen. Just like, what's good? It's your boy. Level three. Kudetal never misses an opportunity. Give you the Revenger assault. 
Everybody's favorite level three. What the mix gonna be? Oh. Doesn't face the sparking, but it doesn't <laughs> matter. Gonna open up that Twitter, get that retweet ready. Kudeta <laughs> over Apology Man, two to zero. And you know, that's exactly what Apology Man was looking for, was that sparking bait, right? We see it time and time again after the Revenger Assault from Bardock. You jump forward, you air dash back, Rebellion Spear into their face, but that's the that's the meta, that's the level. Just making sure I got the right uh, tweet back here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just gonna go ahead and scroll. NorCal is Everyone. better than Vegas and DBMZ retweet. Everyone pull that up. It's a good tweet. You know, we'll catch Venice next time. Mm -hmm. Top eight in the bracket here. Impressive nonetheless. Yeah, absolutely. I don't man. know how he does it. <laughs> Incredible. I love him. <laughs> He's the best. We move it on to that loser side. So we played both of our first round winners matches. Both yeah. of our first round losers matches. Yeah. Moving on in the tournament. We're in top five already. We're working yeah, on this. Yeah, so uh, cruising right along here. It's been some beatdowns in terms of the set counts and scores in these matches so far. I don't know why Dragon Ball seems to do this. It's like 2-0 in every match. It's like it doesn't make any the sense. The top eights are always so brutal in this game. Yeah, nobody taking a game off the winner. And Sonic Fox and Kazunoko in the winners' finals as well. But right now we're going to go down to the losers' bracket. Round two is going to be Dogro representing Cyclops Osaka up against Hono Smoke. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Cola Boys. Look at them both. The, the Cola, Cola boys. boys? Man, simultaneous oh, Cola yeah. drink. I saw oh, yeah. that. That was pretty good. They just hit it with the boom. Yeah. This guy, Dogro, he needs a sponsorship from Cola. Man, <laughs> the does. amount of Cola he consumes for that frame, I don't think is healthy. No, definitely not. But he's always ready with it. He's always ready with the comfortable pants nowadays, too. I'm a big, big, big Dog fan. Dogra has, like, big these, fan. like, cut-off jogger things that yes. he wears. And I'm like, man, they look super cozy. And uh, Moke... He's always got the, like the red cheeks. I feel like he just ran a marathon before every match, right? He always he's looking, he's sweating. My man is sweating up there. The handshake, of course. <laughs> the way Dogra fires it. Oh, there it is. It's like an overhead. You gotta you gotta block high. It just like, hits it from the top. Back to Cell Games Arena here. Dropped in the loser's bracket. Obviously, we saw Dogra just get sent here a little earlier, right? And Moke coming off a win. So he's got to be feeling pretty positive about how he played earlier. Dogra got to kind of readjust now that he's down into the loser's bracket. Oh, Cola more, Boys one again. More, one more power up. One more power up. That oh, cannot you, be good for you. You, you just see ah. this. Uh, yeah. Oh, it was, was like the commercial where they drink the cola and they're like, ah. Refreshing. And that was too good. Kid Boo Boys, of course. There's that one guy in the crowd <laughs> clapping for Kid Boo. Clapping for Kid Boo. <laughs> and there's one Kid Boo fan and every everybody has that friend, you know. There's one Kid Boo player in their every circle. Their shoelaces are never tied. There's stains on their T-shirt. Everybody got a cute Kid Boo player for a friend. I got you. No big deal. That clip by that 2S caught him. Yeah, pick up with that Bardock assist. And the ball Oki okay, after is pretty good, but he just drops with jumping eight. All right, well, you know. Up tech into the back dash. Very popular tech option in this game now. Just catches while they're slipping. Yeah, and that's how tech options generally tend to work, right? Whatever's the most popular, people adjust and start to go to something else. Yeah. Down tech buttons. I don't think that'll ever become unpopular. Yeah, for sure. Very hard to time something media against that. Vanish to beat it, and he gets the Ooh, combo off of it. That's always so clean. Moke's going to bring him right back into the fray as well. Yeah, make 16 deal with the mix up here. Yeah, the ball. Oh, nice reflect timing there. But you still got to deal with this mix-up afterwards. And he gets the second jump light. Mm -hmm. That double overhead on the way down. Dogra wasn't ready to block. Drop him in the corner. Throws the javelin. And he's going to have Bardock in for the mix-up. Wow. Ooh. I cannot believe he blocked that. <laughs> yeah. No Kid Buu assist for him. But Kid Buu for Dogra as he dashes forward. Gets that jumping L. Six bars on deck, too. He's so much meter to spend on this. Dragon Rush. Command throw. Bringing the level three. Dogra loves that fake cross up, but I mean, we've already seen recognition from both these players. Will he just go with the cross up? Yes, yeah. he does. That's what I'm talking about. Air dash over, jump, and, and Goku, he is kind of like the Shoto of this game, right? He has the far reaching, very fast 2M compared to a lot of other characters. And uh, that, it's like that crouching medium kicking and just sneaking in from super far away. Yeah, it's so sick to see how decision making gets adjusted based on player familiarity. Wow, does not take to the sky, so no anti air command grab. What really kind of okay. round start was that? He started with dash forward, he started with up command throw. It's like, all right, level three. It's a hard knockdown off this. Good mix up. 16 is still one of the characters that can mix you up, especially when you're low on life, ticking into command throw and stuff. Runs up, blocks the sparking, checks him after. 
And he gets the hit, man. He could have just like waited it out. There was no assist threat. Oh, missed the combo off to Fu. Ball cancel doesn't take too heavily for it. He down tech 2H, worse? Yeah, he tried to go all in on it. He was like, let me just knock you out of this air dash or whatever you're gonna do. Air dash cancel, got him. Trying to block low there. Maybe he forgot about the sparking or just guessed wrong on the 50 50. That's gonna do it though. Drop him. Bring in Trunks. He's the more healthy character. And we got a relatively even match, although Dogro with the sparking advantage. Yeah, five balls on deck from Bobby, so he's gonna have that advantage to Bailey. Yeah, having more meter to vanish is so useful in, in so many situations, right? Just get those opportunities to catch him. Yep, Ooh. that jump back key blast into the H ball. This is so good. Yeah, a surprising amount of damage off of that, just like straight confirm. Oh, Ooh. reflected it away. Shining slash, reflect after, perfectly done. Go girl ready for every situation. I'm so comfortable on that kid blue right now. Yeah, this is definitely the character to me when I watch him play. He just looks so slick. Caught him low again, and that's going to do it. Solo Kid Boo, no sparking for Moke here. It's a Gogo with firm control. Not too far behind on the meter now. Oh, and he finishes the job. Nice range on that stand line. Yeah, that standing L doesn't look like it should go that no. far, like the little <laughs> bicep curly does, but it's, it's surprisingly far range. Yeah. The goon cam in the building as that well. That is definitely the goon cam. That is oh, definitely boy. the goon cam. Sage. <laughs> is, I thought he was throwing A-Town, dude. Yeah, I was like, is he throwing like, A-Town? Shout out to Anakin. A-Town down, bro. He's representing. Starts it with Change the Future plus that Super Dash. And, of course, bring in Bardock. Since his Super Dash is already used up with Kid Buu in the combo, you can tag in another character to use theirs instead. It's multitasking right there. Use both your characters. The reflect gets chewed up. Yeah, got socked in the mouth trying to reflect recklessly. I love that standing age, and then you delay the Lariat so that the assist can come out. You get a little, pull them a little lower to the ground so that the combo works a little bit more consistently. It's a good choice. Mix up here, empty oh. jump low off the whiff. That's going to do it here for Dogra's uh, Kid Boo. He had a nice little cameo in this match while it lasted. Yeah, just the jump block as soon as possible after the instant air dash, whiffing on the Kid Boo, but you makes you think you have to block hot. Yeah, it's a nice little mix-up. I mean, it's 50-50, it's right? You got to guess. Yeah. Man, he jumped in the at the last yeah. second on that. Slid under just barely. He's going to take the side switch, try to pull him back to the closer corner he has. And level three, of course. How many is this? Really, like eight or nine yeah, at, least, at least, right? At least. Almost double digits. I, nothing will beat Evo, that's Open for sure. Hits. Oh, the layer dash in front actually got the chicken block off. Usually something you don't really look to do for in this game because of the increased block stun in the air. Man, he did that reflect a little. He gave him a little too much credit. And so because of that, he eats a pretty fat combo for it. 16 going to go down here. Might not even need another other character, but he's going to bring in Kid Boo anyway. And that'll do it. Look at Moke chilling with all green bar. Hasn't even had a little scratch on him. Oh Caught him already. Man, Dogra always starts like this run up at the beginning of the round. He tries to get feisty real he quick. Does. Oh boy. It's all the cola. It's just like in his system. He's just like all the, all the caffeine. He's just losing it. He's like, I gotta run him in there. Maybe sparking bait here. Air dash back. Sparking oh. baited. Smoke it. Read him like a book. Drink the smash. Knock down the spinning mixer. What's next? Oh, but Dogra. Did you the see the this guy? Dogra? Oh my, he's got the largest brain, the sizable cranium. Oh my goodness. And then after that tech right, you have to get locked down from the Rebellion Spear. Give it a guard cancel out and hit the Kid Buu. Doesn't block his dome piece though. Nice reflect again and another dash up punish. That 2M starter and sparking. That is a lot of damage for Dogra. I cannot believe this guy Dogra just woke up and dashed out of there. He's only oh, yeah. just sneak under you real quick. That's some big brain plays. Yeah, that cross me game has tremendous range to Oh, stop it! Hit him with that Majin Okaba, the scream. Don't feel yourself. That's the scream monster. You just yell at people for no reason. <laughs> Caught him. Flinching. That's two for flinching as it's a game for Moke. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Cola he's boys. Cola boys on deck all day, every day. With the label torn off, that's maximum esports. My man is thinking. <laughs> you see the neck? He grabs his neck like... <laughs> Man, maybe I should have started the round with run up again. <laughs> should have just been, should have done something crazy. More anti air commanders. Oh, okay, okay. So he's thought. Oh, the Broly's about coming the Broly. out. He was thinking about the legendary Super he Saiyan. He knows the movie's coming out. He was like, I gotta represent the power up. 
Brawly definitely doesn't drink any cola. <laughs> you see that physique there? So I refuse to believe it. <laughs> only water. Just PEDs. Oh, yeah, I was going to say only water and steroids. Super Saiyan steroids directly. So those, that veiny neck. I feel like there's a certain point where you're just too buff. Just too, it, Brawly like you're just too point. big, right? My man will get flagged by USADA in an instant. Yeah, there's like, no UFC fights for this man. There's like a certain point where it's like, look, bro, we get it. I kind of, you don't have to hit the gym <laughs> every day, three times a day. Just like, come on, let me be fat in peace. I just feel bad about myself at this point. It's like that picture of Majin Buu working out to, to try to get like Super Yeah, Buu. Super Buu, he's like, come on, man. Man, you know, start of the round, change the future, always like, I feel like dictates the pace of the match, right? Such a dangerous thing to have to deal with as Dogra just backed all the way up to the corner and finally finds his way out. And go with the ball here, gonna have access to some armor on some normals, has the command grab, shenanigans as well, but it's here by the 2M. Yeah, right after. Man, this stage theme is pumping. Somewhere Tasty Steve is <laughs> losing it. That's <laughs> that first to the match, gets the wall bounce and brings in 16, recovering some blue life. That Dragon Rush in the corner. That's one of the nice things about a beam with 16, right? That Dragon Rush in the corner off of all the extensions, command throw. I like neutral jump M as though. Yeah, I wonder if that was a missed air dash. Or if he wanted that, but the stand M punish on the guard cancel. Big boy damage. Yeah, I think with the way that wake up works after the command grab, he was just looking to cover the up tech, which he did successfully. Snap. I like that incoming setup. That was sneaky from Dogra there. Yeah, you can see he's using these jump M's just to make sure Moke has the block on the ground. He's gonna get another extension. He still has Goku. Dragon Rush at this. Regular command throw. This is a lot of damage. He's gonna get another level one after this. And that's gonna do it. Dogra smoked him. Oh man, yeah, we've seen this man bring out the TOBs. He's got the optimal combos. Let's be careful with that 2H comes out from 16. That yeah. falling jump L on the top. Catches a Super Saiyan Dome. Has that downward angle. Level three. This is a good time in the audience to get a snack. <laughs> We're back with more Dragon Ball Fighters top eight in just a little bit. All right, he gets that uh, tag right on Wake Up. Sometimes that happens. You try to hit a button and the tag just like makes them disappear, right? So you yeah. can't find them. Jump medium again. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem when you fish in the air with jump medium, right? You can't go into the auto combo. It won't auto correct your height. Wow, uh, Lake. I'm surprised that jump LB or that stand L beat it, but I shouldn't be. I don't think. Tag in the trunks. Oh, missed the combo. He canceled a little early into the vanish. Nice. They're actually caught him to the ground after the super dash. Man, oh. All of that and sneaks in with the instant air dash cross up. You know, for a big man, 16 moves so fast, oh, right? Yeah. He's one of those characters on the mix that are like, you can air dash M that fast? Yeah. Moke sparking available. We'll see if he chooses to save trunks or whether he's willing to commit it. Yeah, blocked it on the ground too. Checks after. Good choice from Dogra. Caught him low with the reset. Players are becoming so familiar with each other, just walk up for so long into the sparking bait. And Super Nash pick up all the way to the corner, spend the level three, waste some of this time. Although this level three, it really does not do much damage through the sparking. They kind of heal through the majority of it. Yeah, Media overhead, Dragon Rush. And that's gonna do it, take them all the way up to the skies, build some extra meter on this, extend the combo a little bit more. is looking like he's gonna be working on a solo. No, how did you do that? Come on, bro. Too much cola. Yeah, and he brings in the bar knock immediately after the super dash. Cancels into the rebellion spear. Gets the badge, and we're in a level three combo. I cannot believe he missed the combo. Come on, Dogra. Oh, oh and he gets clipped low. I thought you were going to have to block high two, man. Don't I feel bad. Yeah, everybody Don't did, feel right? Trying to block that high. Boom, boom. Close it out. Dogra. A huge drop. Still has sparking. Yeah. Still has the life lead. Does he still have it together is the question. There's six Dragon Balls on there as well. Uh-oh. Oh, runs all the way up. Slides in there with that 2M. Oh, yeah. It's going to be more than enough damage here. One more level one into the bowl. Yes. Oh, and the fastball. He throws it all the way into the building. Man, I, 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 I was kind of hoping we'd be on the destroyed version of this so I could tell you guys about Ontario. But... <laughs> The flip stays in the front. The reflect doesn't want to deal with that mix up afterwards. That's such a good thing to have, right? The, oh, puts on the barrier. That's nice. I guess it gets around change the future and stuff, right? So, yeah, exactly. Oh, the key blast went through. Doesn't get anything Ooh. off of it. All this bar to dump Dogra throws him down and he's going to laugh on him. 
The cackle, that'll do it. Dogra over Moke, two to one. Who's on in that loser side? But the brawl, he had to finish the job. Did you see that? He, uh, this guy don't do so He knows. He's too good. He, he actually him. knows. He hits him with the hook and guard every time. Yeah, he has to. There's no other choice. There's no other choice. Every so time I, he goes for the handshake. And Ed at home, I hope you saw that, Ed. He's like, oh, that's definitely on camera. Yeah, yeah just hit, he hits him with the... Every time. He has to do it. There's he nothing else he does. Can, yeah. Like, what else are you going to do? It's like, oh, man. Oh, man. Hook and guard is, yeah, is a treasure. He's at home. See him soon, I'm sure, on the Dragon Ball circuit again. He's probably got like a 550 sub goal to like tell the story of his like first dog or something currently. Wasn't, wasn't there a Domino's cosplay goal? What happened Domino's that? cosplay? Yeah, yeah, the old school hook. Uh, yeah. He worked the Domino's. Yeah, see, yeah, KP knows. KP yeah, knows. The, the Domino's cosplay? Where's the Domino's cosplay photos at, son? We what an uninteresting that. cosplay. <laughs> he's just going to put on the work uniform. He's got a thing that says Eduardo on his uh, thing. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Oh, boy. People will subscribe for anything these days, huh? You better, you better get in line, man. You got to start thinking of these ideas. 750 Starbucks subs. Gonna, Starbucks gonna, cosplay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> put, that, put the apron on. <laughs> that green apron. Hi, welcome man. to my stream. What can I get started for you today? <laughs> <laughs> you want a grande match analysis with extra whip? Hold the caramel? No problem. Shut the hell up over there. <laughs> oh, Shouldn't be a problem. All right, so we're going to go into the loser's bracket action, or we're going to continue it, I should say. Now it's going to be Super Noon versus Coup d'Etat. Coup d'Etat, yeah. Yeah, more round two action. Man, I'm so happy I remember that tweet. I got to tell you what. <laughs> they still lay and hit the deck down there on the floor. Draw you me can. like one of your friend's <laughs> kitsunes. He's staying in the shot. Man, he had to, like, lean forward <laughs> over into it. Hey, Apology Man, how's it going, man? Big fan. It's good to see you. Big fan of yours. I always uh, just, uh, it's good to <laughs> move into our loser's bracket. You know, we give it, then we take it away, Apology Man. That's we gave you the CEO entrance, and now you got to take the cell. Yeah, the CEO entrance was like 80% brainstormed by you and I at yeah. dinner, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it definitely was. I remember that. It was like, he, he, he executed it. He was, that was impressive. How did Apology Man have a good shout CEO entrance? Timo. That's actually crazy. Yeah, shout out to Timo, actually. Yeah, shout out to Kazunoko as and well. And Kazunoko for playing along. Mm -hmm. CEO entrance, that was that was legendary, actually. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Lose bracket action. Yeah, this is Super Noon versus Coup d'Etat. NRG Super Noon. Hit the Noonster. Coup d'Etat. <laughs> the Noonster. Yeah, big Noonster. So, you know, I, forget, I failed to mention this earlier when we played Sonic Fox, and he was talking about the Korean barbecue power up that he got last night. Oh, is that how it works? You <laughs> eat KBBQ? And, he's like, you know when people are like, FGC people have KBBQ nine <laughs> times a weekend, they're talking about Super Noon. Oh, yeah. I just want you to know that. He's so, got nine hits and not a single <laughs> big confirm. He hit him nine times. And you see, you would expect more if you had the KBBQ power up, but he canceled it out by going to Yoshinoya today. Oh, that's a bad so choice. Bro. Yeah, I don't know. Ontario Yoshinoya, that's basically poison. That's like if I, if I had a rat infestation in my house, I feel like that's what I would lay on the traps to, to get the job done. Level three. Oh Everybody boy. get your snack eels. Take a nice break. We got time to think. Yeah, oh, Spark on wake up. Spark plus call Vegeta actually to try to cover it. It's a good choice. He would have been plus even if he blocked it. They talk about Solo though, blocking all the overheads. He's even ready with the 2 H. Super new respected it though, held the vanish. And oh, it's got the reflect into that. Nice clean lariat. Take his head off. Mm -hmm. Close line from hell for sure. And then afterwards drops him with the mixer. Wow, it beat the tag. Mm -hmm. He's gonna get the snap, bring Kid Boo right back in. The incoming mix-up didn't connect, but still a pretty big advantage to get rid of that blue life on the blue boo. Oh, Super New lands and immediately into the Dragon Rush. He like whiffed the jump out and was like, yeah. uh, Dragon. Level three with Cell. The Solar coming him and to get the hard knockdown. Has the Vegeta assist available as well. Late air Ooh. dash M. Ooh, all right, all right. I like that choice from Super Noon here. Going to build a lot of ball. He has Vegeta for the extension, too. Rolling crush into Vegeta. Dragon rush. Try to do as much damage as possible. Not oh. quite the kill. Bardock's still alive and he sparks. If, if uh, Super Noon gets the kill, this is a big win here, actually, though, because of the sparking gone. Yeah, he only has uh, one bar to work with. Rocket kick with jump H. That was a good break. Yeah, indeed, and he went with the rock kick afterwards, just raw tag, catches him slipping. Uh, I like that air dash forward tag on the other side, right? Just get yeah. out of the corner, get your character out of there. It's good damage on Super News Vegeta. Dragon Rush. <laughs> he just DP plus Kid Boo assists. He's like, like, get me out of here. Oh, yeah. Both of them tagging. 
the raw tags clash. Oh, the 5M. Yeah, that's a big boy button. It reaches very, very far. So Snap fast. here, bring in Kid Buu, the lowest health character. I'm surprised oh, I he didn't 2H. 2H yeah. Oh, he tried to 2H that one. I'll just smacks him in the face, takes one character down. But they oh, still looking good. Yeah, there was no punish on that 2H from, uh, or sorry, no cancel on the 2H from Kid Buu, right? Wow, oh. whip on the other side, gets the snap anyway. The Noonster. And then right into the air, Dragon Rush. Just in case Kude Tom wants to get frisky on the incoming. Mm -hmm. Energy field, two apiece, no sparking on deck. Relatively even match. Super Noon has like a better neutral assist, but obviously Kude Tom. Strong mix of characters. Oh, that was a good confirm. Yeah. He's gonna build a level three at the tail end of this. Spend it for that hard knockdown. Super Noon has no sparking to escape. He's just gotta guess. He's got to react. Level three, so he has the invincible reversal available, but you got mixed. Oh mm -hmm. my that goodness. air dash. It's the stop sign. Halfway through the air dash, he mm -hmm. just goes with that super dash. Good yeah. choice. Charlie's gonna cross him up. Came back in the front. Got the vanish on the other side. Yeah, goes for the Sonic Fox. What reset. in the? <laughs> Tried to walk up VP. 2H it was early enough for him to dodge with the vanish. Yeah, walk deep in there to try to frame trap with DP, make him flinch. Kudeta, what to his credit, wouldn't do it. He no, was just waiting. Yeah. Oh, he actually got him with the jump medium. You're gonna snap here? Oh, yeah, okay. surprise. He could have done the air 2H confirm instead. Walks up, staggered low. Another one, air dash over, caught him with the 2M. Yeah, Kudeta, I think he's concerned with whatever jump button he might have been coming down with. Wasn't expecting the empty low. Oh, he missed, missed the up extension. the 2H confirmed that time. Oh, no. Surprised he tried to hit a button after that. Maybe he thought he would respect uppercut. Yeah. Kudeta not respecting it at all. He gets the hit. Level 3 with 16 here. Lots of damage. One hit kills now. You don't even need a very big combo, right? Just a little yeah. confirm into a vanish might do yeah, it. I was going to say, he can go man grab into super. He'll build a one bar if the man grab actually landed. Now runs up down tech. Got him with the raw H rocket kick. Final flash. I like that. Level three, close to the ground. He's going to get a proper OB situation now. Oh, no. What in the? Where's the 5M? I wonder if that was run up air dash or ID oh, attempt or ID, something. Uh, M? Yeah, it could be. And just got like a standing. That was a weird, uh, weird OB situation. Yeah, weird execution. Or maybe it was like Super Noon Big Brain stuff and you try to whiff that DP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> that very true. That's could have been like a Super Noon setup. Do. Yeah. Oh, jumping L, that was <laughs> sick. Reaches all the way up there. Air 2H confirm. And he has the bomb mix up here. No, tries to dragon rush. Yeah, that happens a lot, right? You think you're gonna hit the ground, you dragon rush, you don't quite make it all the way down. Yeah. And you can get that dragon rush in the air, obviously, so not uh, kind of foolproof. He goes with the guard cancel. Wow, DP's on the other side. Duke Kube Tao will try to whip punish. Yeah, super good DPs are. All over the place, right? That's one thing about him. He makes you fear that option, then tries to like play behind it. Whip into the dragon rush, no break. Yeah, if you're Kudetai, you gotta be happy right now, right? You got the primary assist, eating this Revenger Assault. Yeah, it's a level three, all right. <laughs> Mix up. Oh, double jump to bait oh, it. Oh, man, Sparks. Beautifully wants to get rid of this Vegeta assist. Oh, missed oh, the air no. dash loop. This is a big chance for Super Noon. He's got to sneak in a tag or a hit. Hell's the vanish. There's the tag. And man, he got like pulled in by that uh, Celestis back there. A lot of discipline from Coup d'etat. Not pressing any buttons recklessly. Ooh, she called off to get a spin a bar to extend that. I like that. Snap in Vegeta. Make him play with one character. Get rid of that blue life as well. He's got 16 assists here. Air dash stays in the front, but the spark gets him out of the mix up anyway. Good block, there's another second here overhead, yeah, we're gonna block all of that, all three hits, even the delayed air dash afterwards. Yeah, and level one sparking gonna run out very, very fast for Super Noon here, doesn't have it any longer. Air dash oh. over, he was trying to tech defensively. Got that dragon rush on the other side anyway, dropping here more than enough bar to close out Vegeta. And that'll do it with the energy field. Super Noon down a character, down sparking as well. Yeah, the Super Noon, you hate to see that type of thing happen when you want that jump in, connect, but it was just too far. Open the window for him to get the Dragon Rush. Now he got the stagger pressure coming out. Mix up behind the Kid Buu says empty into the Dragon Rush. He's got a lot of meter to spend on this. Runs up, wants the reset instead it looked like, but couldn't kind of piece together something solid. 
and oh. caught him with that stagger load. Did you see how far it reached? Yeah. <laughs> Just like way out there with that 2 L. Yeah, Kude Tom for the most part has been extending his pressure after that 6 H, right? That time he mixed it up with the crouch L afterwards, caught Super Noon to sleep. Yeah, we'll see what the 50 50 is going to be here. Empty low, nice block from Super Noon. Old Challenge. Back. Caught him low, yeah. I wonder what Kude Tom tried to do. Maybe stand up and hit a button or something. Yeah. Problem. Level 3 here for the knockdown. Super Noon needs this hit. If he gets it, relatively evenish match. We'll see what the mix-up's gonna be. Run up, single tick. Yeah, nice break. Kid boost is back there. Goes low. <laughs> Block the empty low. Oh, with the command grab from Super Noon. Energy field. Bring in Kid Boo. That's gonna do it. Super smart stuff. I like that choice too because Cell has a lot of blue life, so yeah. gets to kind of recover it back there. And get it, Kid Boo, giving the access to the ball mix-ups. Oh, and falling medium catches Super Noon after the S's. Drops down, falling medium. That kind of like just float in the air, wait, fall with a button is really, really strong in this game. Level 3 with 16. Not going to be the, the uh, end of Kid Boo, but he's on his last legs here. Wow, he waited two ways. I wonder if he was expecting a vanish or a tag, maybe. Yeah, you see Super Noon vanishing in response to the vanish. I thought he was going to 2H, but the Super Neutral. Yeah, Super Neutral indeed. Turns around on it. I feel like Super Noon Super Dash will do that all the time. The Dragon Rush. Big. Might, he actually might just bring in Cell to do the level 3 here to get Kid Buu out. Mm -hmm. Precisely that. Wants to recover that life. To be able to get a dash up here. He's got to respect the button. Yeah. Oh, the oh, challenge on the stagger. He was ready for it. He's going to take the snap. Yeah, Kid Buu is so low on life. Even a command throw would be death, right? Because he can do the level 1. Trying to reflect again. No assist available for Kude Tom. Use it on that mix up attempt. Always trying to stomp him out. QS able to get it off the vanish as well. This is a big hit. The next mix up could kill for Super Noon. Empty oh. jump low is going to take out 16. <laughs> this is a big advantage. Because he has another character alive, right? The assist advantage is huge. Kid Buu can set up his mix ups. Vanish into the beam. Man, I thought he was going to get a confirm off that. Maybe a Super Dash would have worked. Maybe. Wow, that was a gutsy Super Dash. Super Noon, he's able to get the cross up now. Not a lot of meter on deck. He's building it slowly but surely. Yeah, forces his offense to work. Two bars. Looks like he's going to spend it. Bring Cell back in. He does have more life. In the mix up here. Overhead, Super Noon brings it back. Ties it up one apiece. <laughs> Oh, what's out of sign of relief right there? Brings it back with that universal overhead, the round ender is one of the most popular round enders for any character in this game. Especially when it's solo, right? That's when you expect that the universal overhead is the least because you don't have an assist to back it up. Yeah, usually you need that to make the combo happen after anyway, right? So you're just like, oh yeah, he's not gonna go for the slowest overhead <laughs> ever, and then he just does and you don't block it. You're like, oh, all right, well, that, that happens. All right. Oh, that was a gutsy super dash from Kude Tom this time, but the 16 assists behind it, you ain't going nowhere. You got to deal with the mix-up afterwards. Yeah, it just gets clipped with the meaty jab. Yep, straight up, and Kude Tom goes into the optimal stuff always after that. The open to the three bars here, but no two-touch. A weird Bardock assist call. Maybe he had some kind of extension plan, but it didn't work. Ball, nice reflect to get out of there. That 2S mix-up, not what it used to be. You got to go to that ball mix-up now instead now. Overhead, nice block, three piece, good block again. No assist to back him up here, so he just goes to Candy Beam Vanish. Oh, what in the? Kude <laughs> that's not your fault. You're just a human being. He was, oh yeah, that's so, so weird. One day they'll tell stories about the legendary Super Dash. <laughs> oh my, I cannot believe he made it to the other side at the tail end of that. Yeah. Corner carry is going to be big on this. Side switches him, drops him, brings in Vegeta for the final flash. All right. Absolutely yeah, one of the few players that really doesn't mind playing that Vegeta on point. Yeah, guard cancel vanish. Low damage, so he takes the snap instead. Wow, fake out on that whiff there, H. I like that mix up a lot. Goes low again, Super Noon with the blocks, but the stagger clips him. Yeah, because after the 5S, right, you're usually expecting a 5 8 So Super Noon, I think, mean, timed his poke back for that timing and put a tall, hit him with a crouch out instead. Yeah, and got the javelin. See, Las Vegas excited for that one. I saw people jumping in their seats when the stagger worked. <laughs> Playing it nice and slow with Bardock. Man, you see run all the way up, put the brakes on at the last second. 
And no call on the Vegeta is surprised. Look at Kudeta running this offense. Yeah, up gets the combo in the corner right there. You get that nice pickup too. Level three again. Already in the double digits. He's gonna bait that sparking though. We're gonna see a sparking Superman. That's a great question. Air dash in. Staggered pressure. Does not crack on defense. Plus frames again. Level three. He did. And he reflected the whole thing. Kudeta, nice read on that defensive choice from Super Noon. Knew he was going to panic out. Extends with Cell. So much uh, bar to work with. Double extension. Six meters. Javelin energy field. That's going to do it. Solo Vegeta for Super Noon here. So smart from Kudeta to go over plus four. Personal before it has, And block against Cell. It wasn't even Vegeta, right? It wasn't even the DP threat, but he knew he had the meter for the invincible reversal. Yeah, I was good really recognition that Super Noon was sick of blocking and wanted to get out of there. Oh, Dragon Rush, no break. Not too much damage. He has meter here, but this isn't too consequential just yet. Next hit could kill Cell. On a flash for the knockdown. Sparking still available for Kudeta as well. Goes low, staggered pressure overhead. Yeah, just keeps abusing it. He's not going to guard cancel or reflect. Six bars on next Kudeta. Oh, man. This is really scary, yeah. Oh, got it a hit in the air, but... 2L didn't combo air to air. That's going to do it for Cell. Kudeta still two characters with Sparking, though. And seven meters. That's a lot of damage you could pump out. A lot of vanishes. And Super Noon's been saving himself. The character that's put the most work in for him this weekend is that Super Saiyan Vegeta. Yeah, his Vegeta's been looking sharp. The pickup, of course. Immediate level three. And this is where he makes some guess. Does he bait the Sparking or not is the question, right? All right, Sparking. Okay. Yeah, just went with the standard mix-up. Oh, Super Dash, that's going to connect. Does not go for the whole Vanish. Man, that was a scary position. Could have eaten uh, maybe a 2-H or something. Air Dash over. Stagger, oh, Dragon Rush, no break. Yeah, Kure Tal was so focused on the high-low game, and he was dealing with it very well. It's the combo. He's going to level three. Try to do as much damage as possible, even with Sparking. Not enough. Uh, a pixel left. Oh, trying to beat the sparking from Kude Tal right there with just the dash of Key Blast in the air. Okay, Sparks with 16 here, so level 2 sparking. Vanish the Vanish. He held it. Vanish the Vanish. Oh, oh so smart from Kude Tal. Saw that Super Noon recognized he had the sparking, knew what he was capable of with coming down with the button. Oh, missed the combo. That was going to be huge damage. Guard cancel works for Super Noon. He's out of sparking. Scary whiff. No sparking left on the table. Ooh, no buttons from Kude Tal either. Put the brakes on. Guard cancel from Super Noon. The oh, punish. Kude Tal going to take it over Super Noon here. Two to one. And Vegas in the building indeed. Kude Tal, I believe, getting his run back from the uh, Vegas WNF where he lost to Super Noon in grand finals. Makes sense to me. Two one. Close it out. Send Super Noon home in fifth place here on the loser's bracket. That sets him up in loser semis. Yeah. He's going to be playing over there in just a little bit after we have our winner's finals, of course. of course. A great winner's finals. Really, really stacked tournament. I'm excited to see how this bracket has played out so far. It's, uh, it looks good. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I can't wait to get to our winner's finals because in this day and age, when it comes to fighting games, right, we see so many players, so many multi-game, former multi-game champions really start to focus on one title, right? We've seen it uh, from Tokido, right, former multi-game champion, former multiple Evo Top 8 winner in games like Blaze Blue and Tekken and whatnot. And on the other side, we have, like, Goichi, who used to be uh, very top, very, very near the top tier when it comes to Street Fighter V. Yeah. And a bunch of other uh, anime he, games. Like, there was a year at, at Evo where Goichi won, not to interrupt you, but he won, like, five side turns. Yeah, yeah, Like, exactly. it was just absurd. Like, yeah. one Melty Blood. Like, all these crazy games, right? He's super talented, multi-game threat, as you're mentioning. Yeah. Sonic Fox has won Evolution in, like, four or five games or something like yeah, that. <laughs> but but the thing about like Goichi and Tokido, right, they are starting to focus more on the one game. While these two we have right now, Sonic Fox and Kazunoko, still getting so many top eights and so many variety of games. Yeah. Like it's a really something to behold in this day and age where people that we've known for so long as multi-game specialists are focusing on one game. Guys like this are still able to compete at the top level in so many titles. Even in this weekend, both of them in Blaze Blue yes. uh, tag top eight. Yep. Uh, Kazunoko was in Guilty, Guilty Gear. Gear. Sonic Fox won in just this is in top eight of Soul Calibur. Uh, I mean, he's like all over the place, right? Like he's just competing and winning in so many different games. And it sharpens you up. You learn different skills when you play different titles. And that really kind of adds to situations like this. Tremendous stuff from both sides. 
You know, one thing that we didn't know during the Winter Semis matches, is it was actually East versus West USA and East versus West Japan as yeah, well. Yeah, it is. And the East Coast reigning supreme right now for both the U.S. and Japan. That's true. East Coast USA versus East Coast Japan, Tokyo. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a good one here, obviously. The Switch, both of them playing different teams, right? Yes. So they're going to be Gotenks for Kazunoko. Still rocking Gohan Yamcha, but he's just made the switch from Kid Buu. And Sonic Fox, same team you want Evo with, except for swapping out that Zamas for Nappa. See that headband, gonna put it on, repping the red. Mm -hmm. Early super dash, as is the Kazunoko way. Both of the assists already coming in and doing their jobs. Check for the ghosts, throw up the peace sign. Let's see, Sonic's is. escape option, trying to go up in the air, but okay. he did end up getting out. That's one thing Sonic is great at, right? King of the Scrambles, we talk about that a lot. Oh, yeah. Scrambles out of the ghost, it's going to be hard to lock him down. And conversely, he's so excellent at forcing you to block. And the Dragon Rush already, that's that Sonic Fox offense. Okay, make sure he tests his opponent every time early in the match. Level three, early and often, you're going to see Sonic Fox use it for the mix-up. He's so good at these hard knockdown situations that making a 50-50 feel impossible to block. Reflect out of there, Nappa tag. Oh, good reflect from Sonic Fox. He knows Kazunoko's tendencies to call assists after the Super Dash, but opens him up with a low after the EX Rush Punch. Yeah, Super Machine Gun blow. Goes for that low right after. Goes Kamikaze attack, level up. Okay. And just that jump H to knock him down. Sonic Fox scrambles in the air again. Just gets the guard canceled. Didn't get the vanish punish. And Sonic Fox will swing on your plus van. He will. Mama Fox did not raise a coward. That's what he said himself. Oh, beats the uppercut and the punish. He slipped in past Yamcha. Just like Vegeta did to steal his girl. He was like, let me just sneak in real quick. Level three available for Sonic here. You go level one, level one, level one instead. Try to get the kill, and that's going to do it. You can usually tell by where the light bar is yeah. in relation to the sparking meter, right? If it's past the sparking bar, level one, level one, level one will kill. Precisely. Wow. Nice jump light directly into the 2H right there. Get the smash confirmed. Going to the ghost from long distance. Yeah, eats the hit in the air again. Just takes the drop after. And the mix-up got clipped, but no confirm. That was definitely a dead character. Castle and Oko giving Sonic Fox a chance to live, and you never want to do that against this kid. Especially his Bardock. I feel like this character is so dangerous. Once he dies, the rest of the team very, very strong as well. But look at the damage on this confirmed level three with Nappa. That scream on him. A late air dash, of course. Yeah, Spark out of there. He needs to keep him alive. Solo Yamcha, not quite the business. Yeah, Sonic Fox is so good at playing around assists. Wow, no confirm there from Cause. That reflect again. There's the Dragon Rush break from Sonic Fox. We took that time to plan a Cyberman as well. Such great awareness. Go and down. the Dragon Rush runs all the way up on him. This is going to be the end of Gotenks after sparking was a no-go. And that's going to do it. Look at Sonic Fox. Full team. Still sparking. Kazunoko only with Yamcha left. He's his healthiest character into the game as well. And at the start of the round, Super Dash from... Sonic Fox, no fear. Cross up on the Wolf Fang Fist. Looks for that jump in. Sonic Fox playing a nice and slow. I love that once he has the lead, he doesn't go too crazy. Yeah, air Dash reset as he loves to do reflect unfortunate whiffs because that uh, Air Dash didn't connect for Sonic. Well, not close enough to the corner for that combo. Yeah, a little too far. Uh, I was going to set him up here with a mix up. Yeah, reflect, gets him some distance. The Nap assist, but the cross up on the other side. Cause didn't commit the double reflect. Gets smoked for it. That should be the end of game one. Sonic Fox. This is a, to me, this is a, one of the best assist callers versus the best player that plays around assist. It, yeah, Sonic Fox, ne like, it feels like he never has to deal with no, your assist, right? It's so he weird. reflects it, he avoids it, he dodges it, he plays around it. He, like, never gets hit by your assist. It's crazy. Like, and, and Kazunoko makes you block Yamcha. He makes you deal with, like, Gohan assist. It doesn't make any sense, the falling L. <laughs> Great stuff from Sonic Fox again. He hit the spinning mixer knockdown. With the double axe handle. Again, you see he's so ready with reflex after super dashes because he knows that's what Kazunoko wants to follow it up with. Yeah, that's when he's going to start to run up and just go for the Dragon Rush instead, yeah. right? Something to look out for for Sonic Fox on defense. Reflect, reflect, escapes the scenario. Ooh. Try to whip punish that. I like that Larry at attack. Yeah, you Forces him to block, runs up. Wow, just caught him. It looked like 2-8 for yeah. the cause, right? 
Maybe thought it was going to be an air dash. Yeah. And he, you know, he's definitely committed to those reads before. Oh, yeah. Wake up 2H from Kazunoko. You see a lot. Yeah, sparking uh, again. He doesn't want to deal with any 50-50 or lockdown from Nappa. Sonic Fox's Nappa series is very, very hard to deal with. That second overhead connects. Yeah. The jump right following the jump medium. He's going to have the bar to level up if he wants it. He does. And to the level three with the gold tanks. All right, so that's the ideal scenario for Kazunoko. Gets the level up with the gold Han. Gets the hard knockdown. Good OP after this as well. Since so he's in the corner. And Yantra is available. Wake up reflect tag. Very common option. He didn't scout it. <laughs> All right, block slow that time. Mix up, and he got that whiff. Just snaps him right back in to try to get some of that blue life and get rid of Nappa. A problem character for sure. <laughs> block the empty low. Blocks for 6M as well. Stay in lockdown. And yeah, he just gives him some space. The sequence was over. And he just escapes out of there. Tag, and no snipe on the tag with the pickup off. Both of the assists. Kazunoko always so ready. Just gonna drop him down. He's got a lot of meter to spend. Puts out the ghosts again. Super Nash in behind it. One ghost left for the mix-up. Man, his control on that's really, really nice. Yeah, he tried to vanish in response to the guard cancel, but it did not work out. Sonic, going to get the smash knocked down in the corner, covering the up tech. But that DP assist from Gohan actually knocked him out of the mix-up yeah. he was going for. Reflect and the whiff punish. Ooh, he let him come into his waiting arms right there, reflecting to the stand light punish. Yeah, four bars for Sonic here. I call the 16 assists. Didn't get any combo or extension off that. I wonder what he's looking for, but the snap. Mix up here. Well, I wonder if he was looking for a tag or a reflect. He just kind of put the brakes on the offense, slowed it down. Mix yeah. up here. I definitely think he's looking for a reflect. He's still locked out of using his tag because of the snap. Donut oh. caught him low. It's going to be the end of Nappa here, which is a big win for Kazunoko. Already spent his sparking. He needs a kill. Yeah, man, that's a, that's a big win for Kazunoko, right? I like the snap because it, it forces Sonic Fox to play with one character. Sonic is so good at scrambling, and the, part of that is his use of assist. Man, super jump height, calling that Yamcha assist. You don't even see it, right? Nope. It just comes out so fast. Don't have time to stop and block it. Kazunoko takes advantage, goes out again. Oki, 2 wave call out. Yeah, but if you want to vanish out, it's not a free escape. I'm going to spend a level up here. Super Dash. Yeah, I guess the confirm. Not enough to kill, but man, this 16 is bleeding. Holds the vanish. Oh, went for the command though. He was still in block stun and Kazunoko. 2H for the punish. Could get to the second bar. Two supers would have blown through the regen. That guard cancel holds the vanish. Didn't get a big combo off of it, but at least he got 16 out of there. And that's such a big assist for Barak, right? Larry and 16 assist incredibly powerful. The light, dude, how did he even sneak in that air deck? <laughs> he actually caught him with the jump Jambalaya. Yeah, I can't believe he actually got that button out before he landed. Has enough meter on deck to put Barnock in the ground. Chunk up the deuces, that's your life. Mm -hmm. The ghosts get the job done. Solo 16 with no life. This is a bad spot for Sonic. Very, very hard to bring this back. Even with 16, who's an excellent anchor overall. I don't know. Oh, that was a sick air dash to set him up, though. Yeah, I mean, solo 16, no sparking, not even a lot of life to play with, but we got plenty of meter, and this is the Wonder Kid himself. Dude, Sonic Fox makes, and Sage, actually, both make this character look so dangerous. One of the strongest anchors in the game jumps off the command throw. That would have killed him with the uh, follow-up level one, at least. Yeah. Oh, Uppercut, deep, deep, and that's going to do it. Level three, nice and easy. Second game, Kazunoko in our race to three wins. Yeah, that's the so old Cola boys all day. The Japanese contingent. Yeah, I like that uh, solo level three too because Gotenks is on the squad, so no no cameo from Gotenks. He's, oh, he's, yeah, no go, go yeah, he's doing work on the point. Yeah, he's got to fight on the front lines. Gotenks does call himself like the strongest being. He thinks he's the, at least the coolest for sure. <laughs> I'll give him that. Nice pick up off the Yamcha. Yeah, Ghost again. This is the series that Kazunoko is going to run. He's going to hold the Ghost. Yeah, Sonic goes up in the air to try not to deal with it. And then the forward tech, right? He's willing to take that damage to escape the scenario. Knows yeah. that there's not much that uh, Kaz can do to chase. But he lost a lot of life. And for that, he's going to lose Bardock here. To build the second bar on the last hit. Ghost. Yeah, it's a level, level one. one. Yeah. Let's throw him Kazunoko starting off strong. He's going to get rid of the Bardock. 
Yeah, I like Sonic's idea on the Ghost series, eat the hit and then go tech forward. But you lose a lot of life in doing so, and if the situations after don't work out for you, it's going to be a bad time. Missed the confirm into the donut, but about that forward tech anyway. Yeah, the jump medium from Gohan, who is so much work. Again, it's going to make him come to the ground and block this sequence. Has the Yamcha assist available, blocks both overheads. Now Gotenks is still there as well. Age hits. And that donut pulls him out of there. Sonic always finds a way to get hit, but then get out. Yeah. It's like his M.O. Yeah, Reflect tried to get the punish after he almost got it. Yeah, he did. We saw him do that to Sage earlier in the tournament and to make top eight. That's that stand M. Good damage on this. Look at that. That life bar all red. One guard cancel punish. Huge damage on this. We'll see if Cos spends the sparking or not. Yeah, there it is. The Sonic Fox gets cornered because he air dashed over. Extension off the Yamcha assist. Didn't get the air 2H he was looking for. Screen beam, holds the vanish, counter sparking. 2H? Oh, he's trying to spin. He caught the Yamcha assist too. Yeah, I think that prevented that 2H for that uh, he tried down there. Blasted him and he gets the extension. Sonic with immediate recognition too. Knew he was going to be able to hold the vanish and get the proper follow up. Oh, just wakes up with the DP again. Recognizes that Sonic's a little too frisky. And the wake up, Air Age Command throw. Didn't get the extension off it, but Whoa. catches that tag into Yamcha. Most players are feeling froggy. Got the snap out. Gonna force him to play with one character he and he gets the to dragon rush. He did. He tried to 2H. He thought he was gonna try for the instant air dash cross. This guy, Kazunoko, is disrespectful. <laughs> Although I'm sure that's not a shocking uh, statement to anybody. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's how you have to do it. If you read an air dash over, you either block it or you try to 2H it. It's a good choice. Kazunoko just had the wrong read. Wow, that jumping out from Nappa just went right over it, that Super Saiyan 3 hair. <laughs> Pulling back the hairline. It's a high. And oh, the oh, Cyberman. Oh, he ran into the ghost. That's unfortunate. <laughs> and there's so much meter to dump on this to get rid of Nappa. Oh, doesn't oh, want to try. Yeah. And that Beyblade gets the job done. The Vanish. Kazunoko sends him to the solo 16, where we just saw him last match. Yeah, I like that recognition from Kaz because the Ghost Super actually brings you up, right? So the level 3 from Yamcha wouldn't have hit. Oh, the 2H is there again on the Super Dash Scout from full screen. Ghost again, even in the middle of the screen. Tech's out of there, forward tech again, trying to go for it. Beyblade, Yamcha assist, doesn't get the extension. I like that idea from Kaz though. Man, you see that standing out whiff on little Gotenks there? Yeah, oh, Sonic Fox, my. he was like pixels away from making that whiff, but just the tail end caught him. 2-1, Kazunoko in the did. lead. Look, bro, <laughs> it's not always intentional, all right? <laughs> but yeah, Kaz looking strong, man, 2-1. to one. Yeah, after the first game where Sonic looked like he was playing so well around the assist, right? We were talking about Kazunoko's assist game going into it, and it seemed like he was able to nullify that at first, but Kazunoko catching on to the rhythm of Sonic Fox's defense, making some adjustments, forcing him into the scenarios where he's the strongest. It's funny, I, I was thinking to myself, I wonder if he's going to go to Zamasu. Instead, he picks Nappa and then picks the Zamas theme. Perfect. That's there a good way go. to do it instead. He got yeah. all the team on the squad. He now. did go to Zamas, technically. Yeah. Still, 2 1 lead here. Pretty nice for Kazunoko as he's debuting the uh, Go Tanks team at a big international event. I like this team a lot for him. His Gotenks play, I think, is really, really sharp. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, drop him in the corner here already. Look at this early hit for Kazunoko. Steamrolling, never slowing down. Look at that Dragon Rush covered by that last Ghost. Yeah, I like him going with the tech forward as well. Covering the tech forward, at least. Oh, he actually doesn't get the punch on the guard cancel. Yeah, overhead, nice challenge on the stagger. Sonic Fox ready, 16 assists for the extension. The Nappa Clap missed. Uh, unfortunate, that 2-H would have been good for that combo extension. Cyberman out there, though, and duffs him away with that jump H from Gotenks. One of his best jump buttons. In, oh, in general, yeah. he has excellent jump buttons. Got him. <laughs> that was a sick whip punish. Drops him. This time gets the clap. There you go. Sonic pops with the proper extension this time. Has enough mirror to finish the job as well. Level 1, level 1. All go the way that javelin. Through. Yeah, this is a nice little lead for Sonic to work on here. Didn't lose Bardock early like he has been to that uh, like point character matchup against Gotenks a lot. Yeah, after the tech, you have to watch the Lariat. It's going to happen every time. 
Jumping M2, left both hits Rock, and then just fades away after. Lariat into Nap, but mm -hmm, you can you can feel it. Wow, he yeah. tried a 2H anti I think, and then got 3H maybe? Yeah, it's a very common execution error for Gohan. Oh, oh, back to the front. That lazy air dash back jump H. I'll show you why this double axe handle was so effective. And he built the level three on the last bit of that combo. All right, you know Kaz is thinking heavily about using that spark now. Sparking or DP assist? Yeah, sparking instead. Chase him all the way across the screen. Overhead, hold the vanish man. He tried to challenge. Oh, the instant fast fall. Sonic Fox doesn't fall for the bait. Oh, instant Ooh. fast fall and instead he challenges. <laughs> you were not condition this man to block. No, he's too ready to just take those opportunities. Look, you can't give him anything on defense, right? He's gonna be prepared. Miss the combo, but immediately evacuates the situation. Guard cancel punish. Mm -hmm. Solo snap. Bringing Gohan. Question is, after he climbs a tree, does he uppercut or not? Wow, no assist to even cover him. Again. Saving the assist. Finally calls the 16. Locks him down and opens him up. Sonic Fox getting rid of another character. Is this a much closer to making the set 2-2? And he didn't even have to like do anything super fancy, right? Just that 2M caught Kazunoko maybe DPing or something. Oh, the so classic Lariat 16 assist. I was going to say, speaking of not so fancy. That's Nooch right there. Yeah. You want to know what Nooch looks like? It's Lariat into 16 assist. The Rebellion neutral back by 16 all Level the way three. through. He dumped the maximum amount of bar he could. Sparking still available for Sonic. Challenge. This has got to be maximum Yamcha mode from Kaz here. He's got to have about a dozen tricks up his sleeve just to kill two characters. No, no, it's looking like real simp hours to me. I don't know if I believe in Yamcha here. Oh. All right. He's going to be able to get the drop. He's got bar to spend. Level one, level three. Yeah, howl on him with the Wolf Fang Fist. All right. Kazunobu takes down one character. A lot of meter to do so, though. Yeah. Two characters to go, as well as a Squawky. Oh, and he runs into the Lariat in the sky. You were just in, like, the start of the commentary. Well, you know, he does have resources in this guy. <laughs> and then it just is over. That's like the commentary. You have to do it. It's like in the flow chart, right? Well, you know. Final game between these two. Winner's finals, two apiece. He was a little too low to the ground to get the Yamcha extension there. Air dash over, Dragon Rush the break. Max 16 on the bone. I like that air dash back. Sonic Fox resetting the situation. Try to Larry it, but I think Larry had moved him too fast, uh, too far forward, too fast. If yeah. he did like maybe a standing alley, would have got him. Vanish out, no 2H this time. Oh. Wow, that jump. Oh no! Maybe an input air. He thought he was going to be on the other side or something or missed off that jump H. I don't know what happened. Sonic Fox didn't get what he's looking for. Level one, vanish. Yeah, avoid the same spirit that way. We got no bars on either side. Casanova finally obtains one. We had the hit, didn't believe. Machine gun blow and another oh, Lariat. Casanova consistently beating the reflected to Lariat. What an adaption. Yeah, instead, I think Sonic needs to go back to the uh, standing L after, right? Yeah, didn't kill him there. Sparking, keep Bardock alive. Chewed up by the Beyblade. Not a combo, though. This is it. Sonic needs the hit. Confirms in a 16. He always finds the hit when he needs it. Four bars a meter. Level one, level three. This is great for Sonic Frost. Killing the momentum of Casanova. Yeah, Hunter Sparking. Both of them level one Sparking to commit to save that point character. Tagging to Gohan. We'll try to reflect, but... He'd already committed to the back dash. That time he tried the 2H. Kazunoko holds it, gets that Yamcha in there. Oh man, that made that option so lethal right there. The back dash, just in case he did press the button, he had the Yamcha just in case he got hit by it. H legs the huge. stop sign, baby. That's a humongous starter. Look at the damage on that. Smoked him. First kill, Kazunoko, and he's got a massive advantage in life, too. Yeah, that's something you see off from the kill stage, right? Using that EX legs in the neutral to prevent any super dashes, or you getting frisky. Oh, I think he missed his air dash there and just got dash up H instead. Probably try to cross up with it. Sonic, lots of resources. Drop him with the level three. He needs these mix-ups to count. Dragon rush the break. No 2H from Sonic. Yeah, just tags into the go tanks. Sets out the ghost in neutral here. Blast the two of them. Man, it just allowed him a free super dash in, though, and that's yeah. huge. 
That's all he wanted. Oh, Super Dash gets the start up with Sonics. Sonic out of there, though. Got popped up by the Gohan, and there's the air to air jumping L. Ghost again. And look at that, just gets clipped by him. Drops him. Sonic getting a lot of damage to these ghosts. Guard cancel. Beats it with the Vanish plus uh, the Yamcha, but no combo. Stagger pressure again. Sonic all over him. The Dragon Rush. He's by himself, no assist, still staggering. <laughs> yeah. And he just makes it work. Yeah, after a 5M of all things. Has no respect even. I thought the 5S would come. Maybe the 5H as well. But either way, Sonic Fox has level 3 opportunity. Dragon Ooh, Rush beats dude. the Reflect. Sonic Fox always can rely on his offense to get the job done. Two characters apiece. Sonic's team is bleeding. Huge reads from Sonic Fox. Brought this game into a much more manageable state. Oh, the Yamcha assist didn't get the confirmed 16 assist. Air dash over, and he just retreats. What a standing at that Bardock Light Light saves live. If there are people in a burning building, just send in Bardock LL and it'll save them all. Level one, level three. That was an amazing stand light. Got him as he crossed up with the jump medium. Legit hit him before he even hit the ground. Does he? DP is the question. Air dash over. Oh, baited. Beautiful bait and punish from Sonic Fox. All kinds of momentum as he chews through both of those characters. Yamcha left. He started the round with dash up L. He was head hunting. Kazunoko. Where's the mix up here? Does he go through or not is the question. Nice block from Sonic. Try to go to the take into the Dragon Rush, but Sonic actually got hit. Situation helped him out. Guard cancel. Vanish. Nice. Dragon oh, Rush again. again. All right, going to build a lot of bar here. Not quite level three, but Sonic Fox, his offense, so incredible. Whip! Oh, does the punish no. throw guard cancel? Was successful. He's gonna, another Dragon Rush could break. Kazunoko got to survive here. Sonic Fox's offense is smothering him. You can just feel it, the low. 16 assists is there. Staggers overhead. Goes oh, low. Oh, he tried to get him with a Dragon Rush bait. Didn't believe in the L. This is huge. Sonic with a lot of bar if he gets a hit. The double oh, into the tick, Dragon Rush. Final characters for both of them here in Winner's Finals. 16 up against the Yamcha. Yamcha with a lot of bar. He gets a hit and he has level one, level three. That's huge. Cross oh. up. He won't get the level one, level three like you said because he spent the bar on the H cross up. What does Sonic got on wake up though is the question. Gonna spend Spirit Ball just to get damage. Okie after. Sonic's got a guess here. Cross up or not. Stays in the front, vanish. Spin both nice bars. Sonic jumps out. Still alive here. So much super on deck as well. How is he? Oh, oh my! Jumps, jumps out. out. Command grab ah, and there it is. Into the level three. Casanova still gonna be alive. That's huge damage. And he gets a setup after this. What is Sonic gonna do? God! Oh, oh no! He didn't, didn't believe. In. Plus frame oh, cross up. Casanova's gonna move on to grand finals winner side. Kazunoko brings it back. After Sonic almost did the unthinkable. Oh my goodness. What a set of Dragon Ball fighters. Oh. <sighs> that was a lot. Yeah. That was too much for me to handle. I don't know if I'm ready for more Dragon Ball after that. <laughs> that, that was... Whew. That was definitely a winner's finals worthy set. Kazunoko squeaks it out. That was crazy, man. Oh, my gosh. All smiles from Sonic. <laughs> he got hit? That's what he said. He got hit? All smiles from Sonic. That's just one of those guys that wants to play people on his level. You know what I mean? I can't believe it. I can't believe he got hit. And then he come in. I was like, oh, no, not like that. Oh, man. That was a, that was a pretty good pretty good Dragon Ball we saw there. Yeah, well, he, when he had those four bars on deck, right, I was like, we have to see the anti-air command grab, right? Buffed in this patch, right? So where's air attack in bowl? Like, my man, you could just throw it out and rip up anything in the sky. They made the light medium version super, super strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh, The man. H version was already crazy, right? Yeah, like, it was already yeah, so yeah, ridiculous, yeah. but man, what Perfect. a call out from Sonic Fox. Perfect time to go for that air H command throw. What a set that was. 3-2, last character, last hit, last ounce of life. Are you all right with that? Oh, nah, that was very, very close. I can't believe he got hit on the back of the neck and then he went with the command throw. I completely understand that decision, right? That was like he, the big brand stuff. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to tick you up with this command throw. Kazunoko oh. was like, huh? 
<laughs> like he like lived out of the, that situation. He's like, oh gosh, that was yeah insane stuff from our two winners finals competitors. So that means Kazunoko is going to be in grand finals winner side, guaranteed top two finish. Sonic Fox awaiting the rest of our losers bracket here. We got our next match. I believe it is going to be Kude Taha versus Cyclops Osaka Dogura. Dogura in the tournament still top four action. He got sent down there earlier by Kazunoko is now in the winners finals. We yes. obviously see why he was sent down there. Man, what a wild set that was. Yeah. You know, Polo Boy power up at the last second. Kude Taha has plenty of support here in SoCal being from Vegas. Yeah, Vegas scene in the house supporting him against one of Japan's finest, Dogra. Somebody needs to find Tasty Steve so he can just scream for Dogra. That's all you need to hear. There's Loser Semis back to two out of three real quick. That bandana throws it on. Man, he's still so powerful just to see him. Oh, skips it. It's like that. Don't even want to see him. That's like me when I woke up this morning, man. I was tired from all the commentary, the drool. It's like, oh, man, I got to go back to Ontario, California, my favorite place. Empty oh. low. Empty low to start off. Kude Tall already back against the ropes here. Mm -hmm. Dogra is going to set him up with the ball for Oki there. Ball again. Didn't even call an assist, actually. He had nope. to go through assist, but Kude Tall runs up. He wants a piece of this kid, boo. Yeah, Kude Toss does the cell assist available as well if he wants to use it after this situation. Doesn't cover the uptech 2 H into the Rebellion Spear Cancel. Reflect into the long distance 2M, you already know. Drops him. Gonna spend the bar here. He's got a lot of meter to dump on this combo. I don't blame him. Shoots it up for the maximum damage. The spotlight didn't kill. Assist available. Dragon Rush, no break. He's gonna get Bardock out of here at the end of this combo. He might just do the uh, switch right into Cell, yeah. Yeah. Huge play from Kudetan right there. You can see he didn't want to telegraph his tag out. Stayed strong with the Bardock on point, got him out safely. Calls that Bardock assist again. Oh, that perfect attack Bardock's pretty good. The mix-up after happens really fast. Gumball reflected. Ooh, into the final. Great stuff again. So a snap out. The air dash mix up, got him with the dragon rush, no break. Yeah, whiffing that instant air dash jump though. And five bars on deck. Oh, he did it a little, he didn't time it correctly. Yeah. You gotta let him hit the ground. That's all right though, he gets the raw hit with the big 16. Puts Goku in the grave anyway. Yeah, built some meter back that he was gonna spend anyway, I guess. Dogra loses Goku there. But uh, Kid Blue's 16, a, a super strong shell. Super Dash in. Super Dash into Bardock, so good. Reflect with Punish. Dogra, he's really keen on that. He's excellent at finding that opportunity. 16 assists. There's so much block stun, he can run from three quarter screen and still get the mix up after. Jaguar, seven bars on deck. One super into the level three, of course. And for Kude Tan, a pixel with the 16. See the mix-up's gonna be here in the corner. Air dash oh, over. No. You can see him walk up a little bit in the air dash L. Yeah. Really clean stuff. Both of them still sitting on sparking as well, which is a big chance if you get knocked down by either of these level threes. Gumball set up here. Air dash in. Goes low after the first overhead. Jump out. Good call out on the uh, command throw there. Got a level three in the air. What are we at, chat room? You gotta you gotta tell me. <laughs> Dozens now. Probably close to 20, I guess. Empty low, good block. block. And yeah, activate the sparking. He didn't want to deal with the follow-up mix-up. He'd already blocked so well. A lot of damage here from 16. A lot of meter drop him into the gumball. Set him up one more time. Four meters here. Level one. Be there with two. Oh. Majin Okaba. All right. Want to give a quick shout out to the people back home. Puts him on solo cell. Sparking available. And level three sparking is a pretty big, pretty big deal versus this level two sparking. Just depends on whether he gets hit or not while it's activated. Ooh, I thought he was gonna 2M right there. Sparking gone for Dogra. Sneaks under with that little kid boo. Mm -hmm. Gonna slide switch on him, of course. Two bars on deck as well. Brings the 16 back in. Oh, just lets him. 
live for quite a second. And then we got the sparking on two age vanish. He could have two aged it, but that's a nice pickup instead. Anyway, Kude Tal gonna take him to the wall. Yeah, the vanish on vanish right there. And we've seen him do that time and time again. Did the same thing to Super Noon, right? Held the vanish and then instant air dash to the other side. Caught him sleeping. Solar coming out of the hard knockdown. Oh, we had that. That yeah. How do you know, right? Like, there's no way to know it's gonna hit there to confirm yeah. it, I guess. But that was a, a really big opportunity. Would have killed the kid Boo if he clipped him. Still gonna get a hard knockdown here. Yeah. Not gonna be the death of him, but this level three sparking working out so far. This team from Dogra really low on life. No break. No chances left. Kid Boo out of there. Solo 16 now for Dogra. The elbow on him. Dogra got plenty of year to work with. He oh, just ran up. Straight up. Ran all the way from Vegas to SoCal. He's like, what's good? Level three at the end of this. He built it at the very, very last bit of that rolling crush. Not enough to kill. Dogra's the last chance. Overhead. He actually poked him out of the 6M attempt. Oh my. The super dash hit. Level three immediately. Dogro with a mix-up chance here. Stop and watch another cutscene. Is he gonna do the air dash, super dash? Is he gonna try Ooh. something else? Dragon oh, rush! Right back at you! Exactly what Kude Todd did to Dogro. He returns the favor and takes the first game. Plants him in the dirt, takes a sip of that cola. First game, Dogra. Quick cola boy refresh. It's like we're going to hit character select here. Yo, I can't believe my man did the exact same mix-up to Kude Talk. Just run up Dragon Rush. Just run up Dragon Rush. I call it, after the level threes, I call it the super new, man. You got to do it. Sometimes you got to keep them honest. Yeah, the peanut brain stuff. Actually, I think that's Hook's latest sub -hole. The yeah. peanut brain emote. Peanut brain. We were talking about it earlier. Cell Bardock 16 just wanted to change the scenery. As you jump back into it, loser semi. So this is two out of three. Dogro one game yeah. away from getting a chance up at Sonic Fox. This is our last. Who's chilling in that losers finals? I can't believe that set we just saw. Just thinking about it again made me stress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dash forward at the beginning of Dogre. Playing nice and offensive. 16 assists with the ball mix up, and he got him already. Caught him flinching. It just looked like there. You're gonna have to block. Maybe try to reflect or something, but. Yeah, Dogra up 1 0 on Coup d'etat. Has the corner situation as well. No assist available. So the reflect will get him out for just a second. However, Goku Beam still very strong. Yeah, not always easy to confirm off beam assist, but near the corner you can just run up. Yeah. Tag him with that standing L. Bates an early sparking. Almost caught him against same situation that standing M in the middle of the air. Yeah, you saw him try to down take the button. Yep. Damage here on this. Pulls in Bardock. Doesn't quite build Bardock for a level 3, so just knocks him down with the mixer. And it to the other side. 2M? Mm, I don't know if that was an input error. Maybe buffered when he was side switching or something and got an accident. Yeah. It's going to be the death of this Kid Boo here. Level 1, level 1, level 1. And that'll do it with the energy field. Yeah, definitely not what he was looking for when he got the anti air command grab. We got 16 on deck, full bars. Yeah, I like that homie fist followed by the Goku assist to cover if he uh, was able to get past the first projectile. Yeah, counter vanish, try to get into plus frames. Whiff that standing out, tick throw. Four bars on deck, he's just gonna spend the level three. I like that, the two hits of the auto combo, not going into the third one, because you can't do it anymore, right? So he just goes into the ground. Super and grab. dash in the front. Dogra tying things up, and he's got the sparking advantage, which is a big deal. Trying to scoop him up just in case he gets reckless. Oh, air H Commando barely missed on him. Vanish for the confirm. He didn't want the air dash reset. The Sonic Fox instead just takes the command throw. Wow, almost got that air dash over him. A little late, it looked like. Good block. Caught him low with the stagger. Three bars available. Gonna spend it on Bardock. Yeah, either character's gonna get a potent mix up afterwards. He goes with the Bardock, however. Oh, and the delayed air dash with some right on top of the dome piece. No Man. sparking available. Building meter quickly. Two bars, no kill though. Reflect. Man, that was an instant overhead reflect. Yeah. <laughs> air dash over. Got him. He's gonna throw him off the wall. And bring in Goku here just to get some life back on 16 so he doesn't have to spend sparking. Oh, and then the Super Dash just hits. So get the pickup follow up behind the key blast. That slide dunk. 
A double oh. overhead. Not gonna be a kill. He might. He just waited. He wanted to look for the tag. Wow. Man, and he didn't get it off the LL. Jumps out of there. Reflect from Dogra. He's trying to headhunt. And he still got a combo. Wow. He ran like so far. <laughs> The hits that are the 16 assists. He ran from Osaka to Tokyo and still had enough time to confirm that. He's like, oh yeah, he just run up 2L. Straight on the Shikan set. All Good right. blocks on the pressure so far. No assist available for Dobra at this point, but he gets him with the 5 as in the 5H, the classic. Yeah, the loops here and Sparking gonna build that bar. Of course, he can still get the knockdown. That's going to do it. Dogura 2-0 over Kudeta. Goes home with fourth place. Yeah, everybody making some noise for Kudeta, yeah, of course. Yeah, big up to Kudeta. Definitely his best showing today when it comes to Dragon Ball Fighters. Be on the lookout for the boy. Press stuff representing Hitbox and, of course, the Vegas scene as Sonic Fox pounces up onto the stage. <laughs> that one was intentional. You, um, you can't tell me that one was intentional. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Uh, yeah, I see you, I see you. Well, we have our losers finals. It's going to be Sonic Fox versus Cyclops of Saka Dogra. Mm -hmm. This is a good one. Cola boys. It's all the day. only He's Cyclops boy here. We have no uh, Goichi, Goichi, no, no Fenrich. Fenrich. Nah. They didn't make it out of here, which makes me sad. I like watching both of them of play course, a lot. Of course. But uh, good Dragon Ball tournament either way. Like we mentioned, it's not even a Saga event, right? Radar no, event, radar which means event. winner of this gets flown out to a Saga event. Mm. That'll be the next one. I wonder if that means that. The winner of this is going to go to Mexico or if they get the choice. That's like the yeah, question, I, I've right? I've heard that you get the choice, but that is the next Saga event, Thunderstruck in Mexico. Mexico. Two weeks from now. It's yep. the first weekend of October, if you guys are curious. That'll be the next Saga event on the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour. If you guys want to uh, check that one out, it should be good. See some talent from an international region you guys might not be as familiar with. We and line see, up here. And see who collects that precious fourth Dragon Ball. Yeah, that's the one, man. You got to start getting them. So far, Dragon Balls have gone to uh, Goichi now after you just got the Yo. one. Sonic Fox and Kazunoko. Mm -hmm. So, Dogra, the only one in this top eight who doesn't have, uh, or top three left that doesn't have the Dragon Ball, right? Well, oh, didn't quite reach into the corner there. Wow, Air Dash over to the other side. And you see, he just kept the combo up on the assist. Oh, oh in my the world, the second end of the auto combo. Are you serious? You know, Bardock is a very strong character. And that auto combo is some big brain stuff. The Javelin, 16, put him out of his misery. That auto combo. <laughs> this character, man. Like, I imagine stuff. like taking a test and it just automatically fills in C. It's like the answer is C, you're right. You just win. Stagger Ooh. caught him, but he didn't get a confirm off of it. Cyberman coming in, run under. This guy, Sonic Fox, just ran under. He's like, yeah, you know what I'd like to do? Escape the corner. So that's exactly what I'll do. Ooh. I don't know. He's going to drop him into the Cyberman. Explosion. Oh, my goodness. Another the one. Cyberman combos. And he catches them with the Oki afterwards. Reflect a little too far for that jump H, which he tried to get. Look at this guy, Sonic Fox, auto comboing from half screen away. <laughs> Not quite Bardock's auto combo. Level uh, three. That pace, that wild pace that Sonic Fox is so good at. Slow down for just a second. Yeah, and just when you think he's going to go super wild, then he slows it down. Oh. Overhead. He missed the cross up, got the overhead, and All that right. kill. All right, that'll work out. That ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. Sometimes you take it. Jump back, avoids the key blast there. Tick throw from downtown, <laughs> level three with Bardock. I was definitely from downtown. I had max range on that. He's got long arms, that's for sure. Mix up here from Sonic, air dash over. Ooh. Little micro dash after into that standing L. Nice work. Execution on point, not quite four bars. So he just goes for Oki, dragon Ooh. rush after. That's gonna be the end of the protagonist here. Good old reliable for Sonic Fox, continuing to test his opponents with the Dragon Rush reactions. Yeah, solo 16 now, not a bad place to be if you're Dogra. What, what? in the jump L? <laughs> this guy, Sonic Fox, plugged in the game genie when I wasn't looking. Doesn't even need to turn around to get the cross up on the big man. I can't believe that hit him. Yeah. He's like, whoop, on the other side. Sparking and coming, baited! Oh, oh boy. Oh. You can smell that one from a mile away. Yeah, I dropped it early, I'm not sure. <laughs> what do you mean level, what do you mean? <laughs> we just did the yeah. lariat into level three, what do you mean Sonic Fox? What are you doing, bro? 
Overhead. Instant overhead. Ooh. Nice block from Dogra, though. Oh, trying to reflect after. And then this thing put out of the way. Gets his punish forward and the level 3 from Dogra. See what the mix up's gonna be. Sonic Fox does have sparking available as well. Which he spends, of course, gets him out of there, throws the key blast, delays it. That's gonna do it. First game, Sonic Fox. It just felt like Dogra couldn't escape the grass. He just got his paws on him and you just couldn't get away. <laughs> yeah. Just ran up. He just did whatever he wanted that game, right? He was like, yeah, let me just air dash, jump L, cross up on 16. Why not? Pretty much. Whip punish, level, or a lariat in level three. This stuff from Dogra actually caught Sonic Fox blocking with the Goku assist and they will take that small window of blocks to set up for the 16 mix up. Air dash over, nice block, Dragon Rush jumped out of Reflect, tried to get the Lariat. Met him in the middle with the headbutt, extends with the 16 assist, has the Goku in the back as well. Yeah, level one, level one, level one should kill. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Last little bit, 16 to get the job done. Bardock, who did a tremendous amount of work last game out of there. Good sign for Dogra. I feel like that, that character for Sonic Fox is always a threat. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Metro Mage has been putting a lot of work this weekend with Nappa as well. He's been using it so effectively. Prevents people from chasing. He has a Cyberman down there as well. Yeah, you can hear the Cyberman showing up. Gets blasted oh. by the assist. Gonna set him up again. 16 assists here. Stomps, and then, yeah, guard cancel to avoid it. Doesn't want to deal with that series. Jump over, avoid the assist. Dogris still has a lot of life on this team. Caught him. Big, long-reaching normals there. 16 assists, run up, 2H. Yeah, the way Sonic Fox used that 2L, he makes it look like it's got more range than everybody else's Nappa 2L. Dude, I feel, yeah, I feel like his 2L does, <laughs> does not make any sense. It just always hits. Late air dash, got him low. Dogro was looking for multiple overheads there. Yeah, he did not find that. Stuck the shoes yet again. That's the one. Another one. That's going to do it. Closes it out against Kid Buu. Both of them sitting on two characters. Relatively similar life and sparking. We'll try to challenge with that L, but Goku jumping out uh, beat it there, which surprises me. But Nappa extension here. Sonic Fox not going to have bar for a level three at the end of this. Oh my, oh my. He moves so fast. It's yeah. crazy how quick 16 is for such a big character. It's an air dash over, popped him in the mouth. Just hit him with a straight stand light. Now the level three available. Gonna do it with 16 here. Question is, the Dogra spark on this wake up or not, right? That's always a, a thought process in a situation like this. Is there a bait? It does, yeah. Sparks up. Sonic Fox caught, caught running in. Straight beam right to the mouth. Yeah, because Sonic Fox didn't have any meter, any sparking bait wasn't gonna yield much damage. We might see the counter sparking here. It's just whether he baits it. And that's always the mix-up, right? Is it immediate spark? Is it delayed spark? Yeah, delayed spark that time. Got to watch health vanish or something. Wow, he was standing up. Overhead, nice block. And, you know, sparking activation is minus on block. That's why Dogra has just been walking up and blocking. That was a sick call. -out. Delays it enough to beat it. Dragon rush. Wasting out a lot of the sparking from Sonic, gonna spend the level three, and sparking's gonna be gone. You can see that portrait was flashing white. It means that it's about to run out. Four bars on deck, blocks the cross up. So good, man. Nappa assist available, calls in, tick throw. There it is, and he jumps out, clean call out. Yeah, Sonic we, Fox, solo Nappa. Even with the down forward blast, that so is neutral on block. We go over the opportunity to jump out now. It's just down to the Nappa. Oh, hit him with the crouch medium. Staggered pressure, vanish. Gonna drop him, run up, put two hands, level three. The unfortunate thing about that is that it took Dogra out of the corner, but that was the most damage he was gonna get. Put him in one combo hill, kill territory, but the raw tag in a Goku gets him out of it. Yeah, Sonic tried to go for a cross up in Snare Dash, but that tag side switched on him. He wasn't ready for it. Oh, he staggered. Nice block on the overhead. Man, how does he, he transition from being hit to blocking an overhead on reaction so fast. Not gonna quite build bar here. I like that he took the Cyberman, but the call out on the 2H. Down take 2H from Dobra. Doesn't quite build another bar, so he's supposed to damage on him that he can. Reflect is not punished. Dragon rush right before the spit lands. It's gonna be 1-1. One, one. one a piece. Yeah, that Cyberman was running up to try to do the dirty work. He's that smile just coming across. <laughs> yeah. He's like, what, what are you smiling about? <laughs> Lose the game, he's smiling. He's all right. 
I think he just likes it when someone makes him bleed his own blood. Yeah, I definitely think that. Man, that's one thing Sonic's getting, gotten hit for a lot is Reflect Larian. I think Reflect L is a little safer there, or Reflect Reflect, I guess. But Reflect Larian again. Man, he is moving and grooving. <laughs> Couldn't find a piece of him. From full screen, and let's see Super Dash from Dangerous, and he finds another 2L as Dogura lands. Yeah, doesn't get a Cyberman set up here. 16, gonna drop him though. And level 3, of course. Sonic Fox wants to spend his bar on these hard knockdowns for 50 50 as much as possible. Empty low reflected. And oh the top eight. The dolphin flip just yeah. flips in there. I was like, what's good? Snap. Get him out. Set up on Kid Boo. He's got no backup reflect, and the Cyberman spits the wrong way. There we go, side switch. Dogra is going to bring Sonic Fox into the corner now. Yeah, level three directly into 16. Get the Kid Boo out, put him in a very dangerous open situation. Yeah, I'm curious if he'll spend sparking the same nap or not. In the front with the Super Dash. All the way in the front. But he didn't kill him. That was a big opportunity. 16 assists. Oh no, instead he just guard cancels, and now Nappa out of there with a ton of blue life, like 40%. Snap, that's what it's gonna be. Oh, try the anti-air command grab, no 2 h from Sonic Fox, but chases him down after the block, Super Dash, doesn't get the auto combo follow up. All right, Bardock assist, oh, he could have confirmed, but instead, that's gonna do it. Kill Kid Boo here, Nappa comes back in, still surviving. Dogra has actually gotten hit multiple times by the late lows from Nappa, not used to having to deal with a block screen that works like that. Yeah, I wonder if he's just, oh my god, he just ran up and come in through him. Yeah, maybe not used to dealing with Nappa, yeah, right? It might be one of those yeah. situations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he blocked the 2M low, but he did not block the 5M low afterwards, so might just be unfamiliar. 16 assist, used up both assists, now interrupts. Oh, oh what? Yo, Sonic Fox always ready with the reversal invincible stuff. Calls it out, level three right through. And he's got the mix up. He's so good. 16 assists still available. Oh, and he gets the tag after the reflect. Nice choice. Sonic Fox doesn't lose anything for it, but no more pressure. Staggered offense from Goku here. Uh, so much staggering going on. Oh, in the clash, Sonic Fox stays strong and goes with another stand line. Yeah, I don't know how, but I feel like he always wins the, the clashes. Clash. It's funny because Dogra, I think, is one of the best at reacting with things like supers or reflects, but Sonic Fox beats him to the punch. Air dash Ooh. over in the corner. <laughs> Caught him with the same stuff that he tried to hit cause earlier with when he didn't block it. Gonna get the confirm here. Drop him, level one. That's gonna do it. Solo 16 now for Dogra. Sonic looking strong in this game, but his team does not have that much life. Yeah, definitely not right. Nappa and Barlon can both die in a single combo. Definitely got to be careful. You want to keep 16 alive at all costs. Man, just all over him here. No assist left. Man, I like that check. Take throw again, level three. We've seen a lot of those command throws from Dogra. You're going to see it a lot more because light auto combo obviously doesn't function the same. So you got to use regular command throw a lot more. Again! Oh, trying to reflect after those command grabs directly into the level three. Yeah, I like that choice a lot from Dogra. No kill here. Sonic Fox team in trouble. Waited. Still not. He thought he was going to spark, but he does not give it to him. Sonic Fox holds back effectively. Yeah, Bardock extension. Level three here with Bardock. Yes. And because he did that command throw there, he is slightly out of the corner, which means that he can't cross up here if he wants to. And that's oh. exactly what he does. <laughs> the big brain choice. Go with that command throw right into the level three. Pull him out of the corner. Sonic with the smart stuff. And that all comes back to the fact that he baited the sparking before, right? That's what opened the window for him to go with an immediate mix-up rather than another sparking bait. Good stuff to Sonic Fox. Oh my, the light light. It was a whiff. Dogra tried to get up and move, and Sonic Fox on the hunt. Look at the damage already on this Kid Boo. Reflect, we have punished. Ooh, that was sick, actually, to get the side switch and bring in yeah. 16. Killing two birds with one stone. Reflect, trying to stay on top of him while that stagger pressure. You see that reflect, and then he waited before to see that he could get the Lariat in. That's good adaptation from Sonic Fox, as it's been stuffed a lot. Yeah, beautiful punish on the reflect as well. Both players trying to catch on to the other's reflect tendencies. Yeah, big big part about this game, Reflect, one of the main defensive tools. 
Finding out when your opponent likes to reflect is huge. Sparking forward tech out of there so he doesn't end up in the corner. Early commitment to the sparking. All right, gets the stand light. Yeah, both of them, it looked such similar times. Yeah, right? right? It had to be only a frame or two different. Goes low. Kid Boo assist out there. Gonna air dash forward. No, empty low. Nice block. Sonic Fox defense. He's been really disciplined, disciplined about how he reflects and when he reflects in stream. Both assists available from Sonic. Other side, he might do it again. The side switch here, yeah. Oh, and the stand line actually lost to the raw tag. No, yeah, Sonic's spinning the combo with the H Mystic Ball. And then the Dragon Rush after the beam assist. No break. This is huge. Six bars. More than enough to close out against Bardock here. All right, two characters left for Sonic. Does have sparking advantage, though. Yeah, it's very similar on the meter. He, he just committed to dash up. And you see, I, that was such a good choice. Because he was hitting the assist, he can jump cancel his 2M, right? That's one thing to think about is like, oh, yeah, I can jump cancel, go for like a mix-up. That was a sick Dragon Rush. Great recognition by Sonic Fox, as always. Level three. Yeah, patented. Run the offense after. This is where he excels. Hard knockdown. Goes low. 16 assists. Spends bar on the Cybermen here. Jump back. Air dash over. But Dogro is... Oh, what in the <laughs> extended hurt box was that? He air medium directly into the clap. Level 3 knockdown now. Oh, late oh. air dash. Sonic Fox closes out Kid Boo. Put the boot on the tentacle and then put him through the mountains. I cannot believe he 2 h that M in there. That was wild. <laughs> Dogra with the clean pick up here. He's got bar to spend. And his mix-ups, I feel like, have been really good, actually, after the level threes. Yeah, he's done a good job of not being too telegraphed about it. Man, he did that so late, too. And Sonic's still ready for the block. In a rough so Sonic Fox trying to move forward on Dogra. Beam assist. This is going to give him the extension. I like that combo choice, actually, instead of just going with, like, Dragon Rush level 1, level 3, or no, actually, he needs just a level 1. Yeah. yeah. Optimal choice from Dover right there. Got the kill and only had to spend two bars for it. So with Sonic Fox has solo 16 with a sparking, but this is a situation he's been in plenty of times in a 9-to-5 he's used to. Oh, yeah. All right. Big hit for Dover right here. See if he opts to spend it. No. And Sparking available obviously goes for I like that he air dashed in after. Reflect. Oh, that's a huge whip from Dogra. Look at the damage he's going to output on this. The air dash. One more. Put him up to the sky. Look at the life bar. That was a full live Goku. And just like that, I only have about 30% left. Big boy damage in the front. Oh, the cross up. And he's going to die for it. Sonic Fox sends us to... 16 on 16 action. Oh boy. Sparking advantage though, which means he can vanish and hold it just like he did there. Yeah. And Sparking about to run out. Oh, caught him low, but... Oh, they just resets with the command throw. Yeah. And a lot of bar here. He's got five meters. Close it out. Try to do the level three here. That, I think that's going to do it, actually. Yeah, he is dead. We're going to a game five. Dogra brings it back. That one moment Sonic was trying to get out of there, right? Gets clipped low. Yeah. Dogra ready for it. Two apiece. And this is the losers finals. Remember, we're just showing us Kazunoko was in Winterside Grand Finals. Yeah, defeated Sonic Fox three to two in a very, very close set. Reflect no break. Hard to see with that 16 assist there covering it. And Dogra knew it. Takes full advantage. Man, he's playing like a man possessed here. Oh, he actually got hit by the 2M, but he ends up getting out of the Sonic Fox special. Oh, Reflect with Punish again. That standing LL has been getting chewed up by Wake Up Reflect on this Kid Boo. And he's going to dump all the bar. Bardock not going to be an effective thing in this set anymore. Out of there. Two characters left for Sonic Fox. That's the, like, one of the fastest rounds I've ever seen Sonic lose a character. Yeah, Bardock just kept... I mean, we saw that against Bar his Bardock, uh, I think, when he was playing Cause a little bit, too, against Gotenks, right? Yeah. 16 assists for the extension. Get that 2H, the Clappa. Level 3 again. Now he's going to run that 50-50. I imagine Dogra does not want to spark to save Goku here. Yeah, Reflect instead. Re reflect had a good choice. Dragon Rush. This is Elena. He wanted to snap out, bring the Goku back in, nullify this assist. H Cyberman tried to hit a button after. You know Sonic was ready for it. 
Cyber Man Explosion didn't does spark. So he spends a level one sparking on Goku here. 16 assists is back for Sonic now. Yeah, I don't mind that. that I cannot believe how far <laughs> away he catches people with it. It's like he has twice as much range. And then a reset just runs up, catches him low. Sonic with the extension. And he's got bar to work with here. Four meters. Missed the combo. What? And also missed the camera shot. What in the world is happening? Going to take him up to the sky here. Six meters. Dogre gets him out of there. Dogre's team bleeding heavily, though. He needs to maintain the 16 on point. Sonic might just spark here, yeah. yeah he does. And he puts Down him in the corner. Tick. He was trying to wiggle there, hold the vanish, get extra damage on this. And if he kills 16, look at the rest of this team. Oh, missed it. That's scary. Projectile, he goes right through. This is big now, man. This is a loss for Sonic here and getting that combo damage. Level three now. You talked about it. It doesn't really do that much damage, but you can see wasting all that sparking time. Overhead. Oh, oh, reversal! Please! You gotta throw me. Grab this grab. Yes. Mix up here after for Sonic Fox. Could kill 16. Oh, oh my oh, god! Oh, he oh, might oh, have oh, the oh, most oh, sizable crane. How does he fit those what? ears over the most sizable cranium I've ever seen in my life? The Jump in the front the tag time. just to go for that same side super dash mix up. Yeah. Too smart from Sonic. Over his his own chance now. Apply some Oki pressure. We haven't seen the fake cross up all top eight. That's what I want to see from Dogro. What in the reflect on the other side? <laughs> Runs up, goes low. 16's available. I like the guard cancel. Dogra not been handling those defensive situations well, so just get out of there. Dragon oh, Rush. Wow. No Dragon break. Rush, yeah, Sonic Fox lands. Has enough gear to put away Napa as well. And oh. that's going to do it. One bar. Solo 16 between Sonic Fox and elimination in this tournament. So this is his signature character, though. Blocks the candy beam, looks for that jump, didn't find it. Dogra is going to have the assist at the end, but... Good jump out on the arm ball. Forward tech from Sonic. The double beam dream. Respects the key blast, tries to grip him up again. Oh, dash up with the stand light. You thought you were going to be able to go somewhere. Somehow always finds the hit. Level three, put him in the dirt. Last character for both of them, as it's meant to be. Oh, yes. 16 versus Goku. See what it's going to be. Oh, Winner of this moves on into that grand finals. Oh, Got him. Only one bar. Dead. Or is he? This is going to be a lot of he's damage. Dead. He's got the meter, drops him down. Dogura. 3 2 over Sonic Fox moves on into the grand finals for another shot at Kazunoko. Oh my goodness. Dogura clutches it out. The protagonist power able to survive the 16. Look at this. This Chad. Kazunoko just stroll up to the <laughs> stage. Such a hunk, dude. Every time I look at him, I'm just like, let's go. It's got Kazunoko in top eight of like 11 games this weekend. Just playing oh ridiculous. Congratulations. The way he strutted up to the stage was too good, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was too powerful. I was like, man. He's definitely ready to play some Dragon Ball fighters to oh, say I love this guy. And I'm ready to thank our sponsors, including the Anti-Esports Esports Club that we got on the screen right now. Anti-Esports Esports Club. Dot, dot club. Dot Excuse club. me. I was, I was going to say dot com, but that's a Gutex URL. He's yeah. got the high level stuff. So that's dot club. He used the hashtag as well. Big ups to them. And whatever they got going on, I know they're recruiting out here heavy at SCR, but I don't really know what for. Yeah, I'm honestly <laughs> not sure, but I am sure that there is free shipping if you pick something up over at store.worldaid.com using code SCR18. September 14th or 16th, you're running out of time. Go over there, do some last-minute shopping before we get into our grand finals of Dragon Ball Fighters. here. It's going to be a good tournament. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed everything so far. Thanks to everybody tuning in at home and in person. It's time to rock the dragon. We've got our grand finals Japan-Japan action, East Coast, West Coast, Osaka versus Tokyo. Yeah, I feel like it's been a while since we had a All Japan Grand Finals in the States. Oh, so, man, definitely. look at this. These guys are professional. Through the trophy. <laughs> you know that, I, I like, Kazunoko posted a picture of his trophy case. He has, like, 150 of those little, <laughs> yeah. like, octagonal trophies yeah. that they give away for, like, Evo and all the events now. Yeah. Kazunoko owns, like, 900 of them. Oh, he just owns man. so many. Man, one of the fighting game goats, man. Inoue, Kazunoko. Dogra here. 
in the finals. I feel like this would be a big win for him, right? Like, Dogra, I feel yes, like absolutely. he is in, like, every top eight for this absolutely. game. But pulling out a win against the big dogs, that's always, like, one of those situations where it's, like, can Dogra do it, right? Mm -hmm. That's always the question. And he threw that handshake from downtown. Yeah. Here it is. Grand finals. East Coast Japan, West Coast Japan. Let me throwing down here. Kazunoko Dogra. Man, so sick to see Dogra in this grand finals going up against Kazunoko. You mentioned it is a coastal battle for the region of Japan. Can he bring it back to the Cyclops Osaka boys? Or will uh, the Red Bull Tuesdays have a new trophy to add to their collection? Yeah. Ah, you know that Goichi and, and Fenrich are watching this. Like, look, bro, you better not lose. <laughs> you can't even come back to Osaka if you lose this set. That kid, boo, wa me waking up in class. That evil laugh as we jump into grand finals. Winner's side is Kazunoko. See if he can close it out in three games or if we're going to go to a reset here. And still Grizzin loses bracket. Got sent to lose his bracket by Kazunoko himself at the start of this top eight. Yeah, but Kazunoko knows it's available. That's why he just pumps the brakes after the 6M. And the unblockable. Oh, my. Bruh. Get the foot. But he got them both. You definitely deserve that after the foot. Nice side switch combo as well. Yeah, reflect on wake up from Kazunoko and jump into the air, hide the assist, call that Yamcha assist. Super, super smart choice from Kazunoko. We see it so often. Floats back in the air. He Tokyo drifted his way back away from the Osaka player. Got the ghost out there and the calm oh, off in no he'll tech. Take it. Yeah, he'll take the blue beat. Oh, 2 H yeah. every day of his life. Clean stuff. Kazunoko is ready for it. A Super Saiyan 3 noggin. Yamcha assist on the other side. Yeah. Air dash forward. Faded. Got that dragon rush. Might have made a read that he just wasn't ready to attack or he was going to commit to the uh, reflect there. Yeah, it really feels like Kazunoko has uh, the proper reads on Dogura's defensive rhythm here. Caught him in the air with that jump L again. The little scary movie hands. Three oh, bars on stop deck. Stop bringing that up. Bro. Level one, level one here with Gohan, maybe? No, it just drops him instead. And the air to air, Dogra does not want to stop swinging or moving or dashing or something. Every tech situation, he's been forced into a block by Kazunoko. Man, and he called the Yamcha assist so he didn't have to commit to a vanish confirm or something. Three bars available, drops him with the elbow because he's leveled up. Is there a bait on the spark? No, no goes low. Sparking available. Pops it immediately. Kazunoko running away with this game over Dogra here. Oh, and he builds the three bars. And he does it for the people. The, the Yamcha. Yamcha. How on him with that wolf fang fist. Man, that was this is awesome. Grand finals done quick. It's like a speed run. <laughs> the first game for Kazunoko. He knows his signature character, man. He knows what the people want. I want to see that Yamcha. The character specialist, right? That, man, that Gohan assist. He makes it look so powerful. Yeah, he, does. he makes Yamcha assist look like it the best, too, right? It's a very yeah. strong assist, but it's crazy. Draws him in the corner. Throw up the peace sign another time. Mix up here, reflect. One more ghost. Oh, he tried the 2H. Going to get the reflect. Air Dash is in again. Yamcha assist. He gets blasted in the face. Machine Gun Punch reflect. Finally, somebody has a strong answer to it. Missed combo from Dogra yeah. there. That's like the, uh, the most B&B &B of all B&Bs for Kid Buu players. Yeah, exactly. That side switch is nearly automatic. Oh, he tries to DP out. No assist was ready. So, yeah, he wasn't going to be able to escape that punish. Yeah, and it's 2M starter. Drops him with the big man. Level 3. This is a lot of damage to E2 on uh, Gohan. Question is, does he wake up with DP? Oh, uh, no, DP or sparking is usually the guess. All right, wakes up with the spark. Man, Super Dash is up there. He did call the Yamcha assist. Yeah. Snap. Met him in the middle. Brings in the kid, blue out. Wow. Oh, kept him up there for a little bit longer, dude. The Go takes assist, block the original side switch. Hits him with a cross on medium, but he can't complete it. Cancels into the legs and then vanish. Cancels that once he sees it hits. Mix up here, jump back. Yamcha assists. He thought he had room to jump and escape or get out of there. Not going to happen. Kazunoko dropping him. Power up. Get that level one. Bring in Gotenks anyway just so that you can play him on point. Kazunoko really teaching us how to call assists in this game out here, man. 
Vanished. I'm surprised he got it in time, but still got the splat drop him here. Dogra does not spin any bar. And Yamcha says whiffed. Oh man, light, light his way into the corner. Air dash over, nice block from Kaz. Ooh, ripped him from long distance. Yeah, off the backboard. Not gonna quite have three bars at the end of this. Level one, level one, maybe? No, it just takes the damage you can get. It wouldn't have killed. Oh, he is too far, but with command throw, two H. If like this missed, like you're that. in the air. So I'm just gonna go for it. With command throw into the two H. Dogra covering all his bases. Has no no sparking left. Sees the S hit and immediately Vash cancels again. Back to the front. Sandwich between him and Yamcha. Then the Dragon Rush right after. Four bars on deck. Kazunoko gonna spend three of them. Micro Dash forward wants to get as close as possible after this for the better. Oh, he tries for the Dragon Rush, but he jumps out. No punch. He was able to recover in time to dodge the Goku assist. And there was no assist available. Uppercut. That's going to do it for uh, his big man here. He's only got Goku left, although it does have sparking. Makes his mix up slightly better. A little, like, at least serviceable. Yeah, he's got the sparking. He's got the protagonist, the main character. Elbow drop again. Run up, take the level up. Reflect works out, and Kazunoko just puts the brakes, backs way up, doesn't want to commit to offense. And he's going to stagger here, of course. Yamcha available. Legs, Yamcha assists. Make him guess. And with all this meter to dump on this, see how close he's going to get. Four bars at the very end, not quite, but level three with Yamcha. How long will the Wolf Fang fist? Not enough to kill. The 5H? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah the 5H. It. That's what that button does. That's exactly what that button does, baby. He just cartwheels back, baits the sparking. By the time Dogra sparked, he already knew that he was about to bleed his own blood. Yeah, He's like, exactly. that's the end, no. of, uh, the end of the game. 2-0. Kazunoko making a quick work of Dogra here. One more. I mean, that's 4-0 in the uh, tournament so far, I think. Yeah. See my man Yamcha doing the back handspring like he's bringing it on and your heart just breaks. Yeah, it's, what are you going to do about it? Snap early, tries to get that blue life gone from uh, Gohan. Gohan the vanish challenge after. Caught him out of the air, reflect, was looking for the whip punish. Cause slows it way down. And tell us this already, he doesn't want to play that kind of jump forward game in the neutral, right? Yeah, of course. Needs him to make it count, whiff on the H-ball, trying to whip the 2-H. Runs up behind the donut. And the claw nice. out. He knew it. He was like, you're going to air dash forward. Yeah. You're going to try to get crazy on me. Spend that air level one. Nice work from Dogra. Yeah, even if you block right, you can cancel to the ball. Had both assists available. He wasn't going to get punished for that to age. Dragon Rush jumps out of it. Runs up, staggers it a little bit. 16 assists for the mix up here. Oh, man, he stays way patient. Out. Yeah. Super Dash in the air, didn't believe in it. Dragon Rush, oh, he oh, teched no. off the ground. He up backed and then teched. Yeah. And another one right back at you. No reflex for you. Five yeah. bars available for Kazunoko. With the Ghost of Styles, P. This is good times. Trying to get that air to air. Oh. Delayed 2M caught him jumping or moving. Yeah. They caught the legs of Goten, smacks him into the Goku assist. Feel some meter, get that extra damage you needed to get this kill all the way through. Free bar kill. Dogra looking good in this game. Trying to finally put one on the board. Oh, just a jump back medium. Read that he would start the round off with a 5 H. And I mean, Dogra with this much of a life lead, this is when he can afford to be risky, right? And Howl's on him with the Wolf Fang Fist. Let's see what the mix up's gonna be. Cross up, nice block. Yeah. Still has not activated sparking yet. Air dash over. Those quick feet, man. For a big man, he moves real fast. Level three. Let's see what the guest is going to be here. Oh, I think that was supposed to be a sparking bait anyway. That's exactly what it was supposed to be here. Falls, lands that LL, and he still hasn't activated. Yeah, I'm not sure if he, or Dogra thought he was going to land on that side. Either way, Spirit Ball, increased damage in this patch. And bring him close to you so you can get a mix-up after. Tag in, Sparking. There it is. Ooh. Guard cancel. It turned around. The 5-H. Auto-correct city. Reflect on Wake Up. Call oh, them out. Yeah, good stuff. With the Super, he'll be able to burn through the regen and take his first game. Dogra finally on the board. Dogra looking alive here after Kazunoko was putting the hurt on him in the first two games. 
Yeah, it's a new post. You see that? Guy? He's going to need another cola soon. If this goes to a reset, he'll need a new Somebody cola. Somebody got to go to the vending machine and oh, find yeah. this man a cola. Mm -hmm. Drop him. I cannot believe that confirmed from so yeah. high up in the air <laughs> so into good. the Yantra assist. <laughs> so good. Such a luxury to have. Go side again. Go on assist available after this, too. Yeah, ends up eating the hit after the reflect. Gonna get the knockdown. He has been going nowhere. He covers the up tech with the go takes and then the ground tech with Gohan. Yeah, it's a perfect choice, right? Jumping out, call him, got him with the low there. Big opening for Dogra since his kid boo is in trouble. Rift and planted. It's been the banish though, yep. Yeah. Winch in the corner, it's easy to follow up like that. Oh man, guard cancel gets away Ooh, with talk it. Talk to the hand. Super dash is in behind it. Yamcha assist. He doesn't have anything to follow up with, yeah, nope. so he just jumps back with the air key blast. Or the ground key blast to 2F. Wow, he delayed it so much, there was time to reflect, actually. Yeah. Gets to the other side. Oh, wakes up with a DP, of course. No bait on the side of Dogura. Yeah, it was so funny looking because it looked like he just stood up into it, right? Yeah. The donut connects, kind of. Little janky. What a punish. You just saw him landing. Hit him with that 2M. Yes. Azanoko just standing there, wasn't ready for it. Yeah, you saw him go with the 2H first, right? Then he double jumped out of that, and then he's hit him with the 2M. Ah, oh, Sparks to save Gohan here. Holds the Vanish, caught him low. He was expecting more overheads. That was so smart. Snap out, bring in the Kid Boo, get rid of that blue life, make him play with one character. Oh, oh yeah. I challenge. cannot believe it. Yamcha says he couldn't get away even after whipping that DP. Another mix-up, falls back with that jump H. The donut, not going to be a factor, but nice punish from Cause. Snap. Yeah, bring in Kid Buu one more time. H ball on incoming. <laughs> he avoided the Dragon Rush and jumped out, and then the jump light directly into the Dragon Rush for Dolbaroon. Yeah, now if you're Cause and Oka, you probably didn't expect any of that, no. right? You're like, what in the heck are you doing? Yeah. Go Tank's coming back in. We've been holding it down on the front lines of this team so far, but we haven't seen him in kind of like these late match scenarios. Yeah, good conversion. Wow. That walk Dogra. under. Yeah, the micro walk under. Man, Dogra is up backing like crazy on these techs, right? Block for a second, up back. Armor didn't get the job done. Yamcha assist. Yeah, he's up backing constantly. Delayed low is not a bad idea here to try to catch him. But down. that's going to do it. Down tech eaten up by that LL. <laughs> Good stuff from Dogra. Being ready for the down tech button attempt from Kazunoko. Five bars on deck. They need two. No sparking. Yamcha coming back in again. Man, what looked like such a dominating set for Kazunoko is turning even very quickly. Dragon Rush as he lands as well. Yeah, that's a perfect choice, right? Catch him when you're running up there. Bar to spend. Level three. The best Oki out of the level threes he had available. This is where the guess happens for Kazunoko. Media overhead, waited, baited. Oh, two H. Drop some sparks right away. That air dash combo. And barring a drop here, it's looking good for Dogra. That's gonna do it, two apiece. In two convincing games at that for Dogra. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What did he do the touch of death off of earlier in this tournament? Was a five H or two H? I think it was like two H spark, right? He baited okay. like a tag. Okay. And he probably he has TODs off both, I'm sure. With both of his teams. Yeah. yeah. So there's two all here in the first set. Dogra needs one more. Reset, make it 0-0. Zero, zero. Somebody get him a new coat. But until then, got one more game to play. And that air assist falling for Kazunoko, always a factor. Gumball doesn't get out of there. Gets hit and he kind of escapes the situation, just runs up low. Yeah, I'm not sure what Dogra was trying to do to escape there, whether it was hold up back or what. Either way, the two L can there. So get the knockdown, chunk up the deuces. Level up. I like him bringing in Gohan because there's Blue Life already there for uh, Gotenks. Yeah. Air dash forward. He's about to have his assist back. That stagger helped him out. Yamcha got him low. He didn't do anything fancy at all. Yeah. It's going to do it. Smash him. Level up. It's a strong position for Kazunoko. Early kill. Sometimes you let the opponent apply the smoke and mirrors for you. 5H from Dogura. I cannot believe he started with 5H again. Yeah, I appreciate Kazunoko's in the same boat as you. Level three, pulls him out of the corner. Command throw level three will pull you out of the corner slightly. So then you can air dash over and get the 50-50 if you want. Cross up a threat. Yeah, that's what he went for. Oh, yeah. Kazunoko looking to not play that game. Gets him with the jump medium. Such a good button from Gohan. 
Yeah, spend that level 3 big damage. Now you make him guess on sparking or not. As Kazunokos is running out. That was a sparking bait. Yeah. Don't have to wrap him up. Got him low. <laughs> I love that setup. It was yeah. like calculated enough to deal with sparking, but also still allow a mix-up if he blocked it. That's going to be the end of him as the ghosts come out. Peace sign throws up. Yeah, that's what you are starting to see more and more of a high-level Dragon Ball Fighters play, right? Safe setup, so beat the sparking and still allow you to get a mix-up afterwards. Comes down with that jump line. All right, Dragon Rush from Dumbledore. He's got to pull out all the shenanigans now. Yeah, run up Dragon Rush while you're landing is very good. Yeah. Catches a lot of people off guard. See what he's going to go for off the level three. In that air to, in that overhead. Wow, he waited. Was trying, maybe you were trying to beta reflect or something. Yeah. Jumps back out of the Dragon Rush again, and he just runs up for his own Dragon Rush. Steals the momentum away from Kaz. And that's going to do a one bar kill. Yes, indeed. All right, still sparking available. This is uh, definitely doable for Dogra. Oh, yeah, this is a super winnable si situation still. Jump out of the Dragon Ooh. Rush again so many times. I think that's if you're Kazunoko. It's got to send a message that you have to start going low. Vanish, vanish. Didn't want to deal with that mix-up. He's on the DP, but Yamcha was there, and he tried to wiggle afterwards, but he was still locked down. Just run up low, catches Dogra. You just want to squirm out. Level no sparking four. yet either. There it is. Yeah, finally. Air legs whip. He just ran the entire screen. There's the dodger. Luckily, he took off some of that Super Saiyan hair. Tags into Yamcha. He's just trying to slow things down, but got clipped. That falling jump M, and this is humongous damage in sparking. Well, he doesn't spend any meter. Uh-oh, caught him backdashing again. Six balls. I gotta imagine he spins three here. Yeah, with that jump out, land. Level three for Dogra here. Sparking running out. Yeah, last bit of it. Ticking down. What we got now? Oh, we just tried to go with the overhead. Woke up with the spin. And he just caught him. Meaty there, standing L. And 2H super dash after. He might bring in Gohan here, I have to imagine. Spirit Ball Gohan. Yes, Ooh, he's, he's got so five. much life. Man, this is looking like it could be grim. Staggered low over and over and over. Caught him! That's gonna do it. Kazunoko, your SCR 2018 champion. From the East Coast reign supreme from the US to Japan. Kazunoko takes it home for Tokyo. This man out here has the Dragon Radar, already has a Dragon Ball. He's trying to collect them all, snatching them from everybody's hands. Mm -hmm. You'll surely see him at whatever next Radar, or whatever next Saga event he tries to attend is. Kazunoko, the champion. <laughs> that hunky thumbs up, I'm telling you, man. The hunky thumbs up? I'm he's a hunk, dude. He's definitely a hunk. It's Big crazy. Ups. Once again, to Kazunoko, the SCR 2018 champion. I mean, what can, what can you say about the man? Like I said, one of the fighting game goats, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Extremely talented, right? It doesn't matter what game he plays. He always has his style, right? He picks characters that allow him to do what he does best, and he just runs that game plan until you're dead. That's, like, the perfect way for him to play, and that's how he balances playing so many games, right? Exactly. He just picks characters that are straightforward, play my play style, run my offense, and that's just excellent, right? He, figure, he figures out exactly what team or what character will give him the most bang for his buck, right? The most amount of results for the least amount of effort put in. I mean, it's such a smart way to go about it. And he's so good at utilizing, like, and recognizing system mechanics immediately and, like, implementing them at a higher level than everybody else, right? Yeah. Like, I really think he's the best assist caller in the game currently. He's so good, especially with two kind of weird assists, yes, right? Like, exactly. they're not traditional assists. And the cool thing about Kaz also, to me, is that, like, you talked about the character selections. You watch him play BB Tag, he's, like, playing, like, Ruby Gordo. Exactly. Like, that's, like, that team is, like, all right, what is, like, the least amount of effort, so... I'm yeah. really impressed with that. Uh, you know, Kazunoko, extremely impressive as always. Congratulations to him. Top three was, of course, him, Dogra, Sonic Fox. Yes. Three of the best players to play Dragon Ball Fighters, of course. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the top eight here. We're going to jump over to our award ceremony. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We'll see you guys with more SCR in just a little bit.